Hello, this is the 100,000 subscriber uh, live stream special. Hopefully everyone enjoys this. The idea will be we're going to start a brand new hardcore world. And as well as doing that, Hmm, okay. Sorry about that. All right, I think the live stream has started now. So welcome everyone to the 100,000 subscriber special. Um, we're going to be starting a brand new hardcore world and just playing through that. Uh, we can see here I have the game mode set to hardcore. We're not going to change any game rules there and the seed we will leave blank for a random seed to see what we get. So it looks like I just have to put in a world name, which we'll just call it hardcore 100k. And let us start the world right now. And just feel free during the live stream if you want to, to ask me any questions, to, um, yeah, just whatever you want to do. And we can hopefully have the stream going for quite a while here. And yeah. All right, so we're going to start on the brand new hardcore. And here we are. It looks like we appeared in a savanna biome, so I'm going to start chopping down an acacia tree just so that, of course, we have enough wood so we don't um, die instantly, because in hardcore, of course, if we die, that would not be ideal. So let's do that. And thank you, everyone, by the way, for the celebration and the, um, the congratulations of reaching 100,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it, and it is really awesome to be able to reach 100,000 subscribers. I definitely never expected that I would, um, but I'm really happy that I did, and I'm hoping that even better things can come in the future of my channel. See, someone asked, what are my best tips for starting a new hardcore world? Um, I would generally say just to get a bed as fast as possible. That's what I'm going to be doing. Just because, of course, once you can um, have a bed, then you don't really have to worry too much about uh, dying when it's nighttime. You don't really have to worry about nighttime mobs that much. And so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to get these sticks here and uh, just start by making these stone tools. And then we'll grab that sheep in the, the corner there. So there's that. Someone asked, will I make a server for my viewers? I actually have a server for my viewers. If you go to my Discord, um, there are some instructions on there on how to join my SMP. It's still on 1.18.2. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's on there if someone wants to join and I can whitelist you on there and um, you can play with all the other fans of mine on my Discord server. And uh, the link for that should be in the description of this live stream. I'm not sure if it ended up going there or not, but it should be, so uh, yeah. All right, let's see here. We're going to get ourselves the pickaxe as well as a... Uh, we'll go with an axe. Why not? Just to uh, have multiple purposes there. So let's go kill the sheep and get our bed so we can hopefully survive in this hardcore world. And um, there is actually a lava pool here that seems to be starting a bit of a fire. And that could be good if we wanted a quick nether portal. Let me just see. Are my frames looking good? Yeah, they are. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. Let's, I only have two wool for now, so we'll go on the lookout for some more sheep. And uh, I found the savanna biome tends to have a lot of sheep, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue going around here and looking for them. Let's see here. Are axes better than swords? Someone asked. Um, depends. I would say axes are definitely better if you want um, the highest damage possible in a single hit. Um, obviously, swords can attack a little bit faster than axes can, which is definitely a benefit. So kind of up to the scenario, I would say, you know, if you want more of like a, you know, quick, um, quick action, you'd probably want a sword just because um, if you make a mistake, it's less of an issue because you can hit again faster. Um, but of course, you know, with a with this um, axe, it's a little bit slower there. So and we will get our uh, food here too. So it's actually a pretty good spawn for a hardcore world on random, um, just because there's food here and we didn't spawn at the, I don't know, in the little island or something with nothing. So that's good. And I got a super chat by Flippo. Let me just scroll up here. Give me a second. Uh, by uh, Filpo, I think. And they say congrats from Fort Polk, LA. And thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. I'm I'm really, really excited to reach this milestone, and I hope it's going to just be the start of even better things in the future. 
Alright, so I hear a skeleton. That means there's probably a cave nearby. And um, yeah, let's get ourselves some more stone, make a furnace, smelt up that pork chop. But in terms of like, you know, sort of first necessities for survival, I, I think we're doing pretty good. So let's dig down here and let us grab ourselves some stone and get that furnace to craft it. Let's see here. Just gonna scroll down here. Someone asked, do you talk to any other Minecraft YouTubers? Yeah, I have quite a few friends who are Minecraft YouTubers. Um, recently, um, I've been able to get in contact with quite a few people. And, you yeah, know, it's, it's been quite good. Um, I'm hoping in the future I can start to do more collaborations with different people. So you might see that coming up. And, of course, as well as that, um, you know, I have actually only done one collaborative video. It was a very, very long time ago with this channel called, I think, like, Zareen Asirdo or something like that. And that was... In in like I'm gonna say like April of 2021 so it's definitely been quite a while since I did a collab video so yeah probably something I should I should start up again so let's get ourselves that and we can let that smelt through let me just see if my yeah, game audio is looking good all right so there appears to be a jungle and we could make a house there we could also make a house in the savanna biome here um, it looks like that leads out to the ocean so we could go exploring maybe that's a good idea um, let's hope our food's almost cooked here. We could see if we can get lucky here. Maybe find some stone or cobblestone or we'll find some cobblestone and stone. I meant some iron or some coal. So let's go down in here and see if we can find that. Someone says, what are your biggest or your best strategies to avoid baby zombies? Um, yeah, baby zombies can be quite hard. I found... Um, now, I was talking earlier about axes and swords. I would say um, swords are something you definitely want to use with baby zombies just because um, with a sword, if you make a mistake, you can kind of correct it because there's not as much of a time where, you know, you can't hit anything. Um, the thing about baby zombies too is, you know, they can't like really jump. So if you go like two blocks up sort of like this, then you're going to be fine from that. And so um, I would just say generally, you know, um, one of my biggest strategies in Minecraft, honestly, that um, it, sometimes I've seen people forget is that, um, you know, it's, it's Minecraft in the sense that you can edit any block, right? So like if something's coming after you, you can build around you, you can build up, you can, well, I mean, I guess not in the case of the warden, if, you know, if, um, with the newest things, but you know, in most scenarios you can do that. And, um, yeah, like with something like a baby zombie, I would say just sort of blocking yourself in a corner, that would be a good idea. Let's see here, someone asks, uh, have you had any experience with the Warden yet? Well, not on this world, obviously, um, but in general, yeah, I have done some things with the Warden. I mean, I made um, a couple of videos on the Deep Dark. Um, I found the Warden is kind of odd because um, it can be very easy depending on what you do, um, but of course in certain scenarios as well, uh, it can be really deadly. Um, I found, you know, Funny enough, one of the best strategies is going to the deep dark with very little armor and very little items. And because if you die, it doesn't really matter in that scenario, right? No, there's a puffer fish. Let's see if we can not get poisoned by that. But yeah, and so no, generally that's what I would say about the warden. Um, just you know, if you're not on a hardcore world, I would just say raid the ancient city when you don't have a lot of experience and with not a lot of good stuff on you, and then just bring some wool blocks and put them around the chests, break the chests, and yeah, there you go. Someone asked, what mob do you want added? Um, I mean, there's all the mobs from the mob votes they didn't add. It'd be interesting to see one of those come back to the game. Um, I would be interested in seeing maybe the copper golem. Um, I did vote for that in the mob vote. Um, I understand, obviously, they only want to add one mob, but I think that that would be good. And um, yeah, just I mean, I think, you know, there's not a lot of uh, interactive, um, like, mobs that'll do things on their own that could be interesting. I mean, villagers, you can make sort of little civilization with them, and the way that copper golems are sort of um, advertised, it seems like you could have done that as well, sort of had like a nice uh, mechanical city and populated with them. So to me, that like unlocks a lot of opportunities that, you know, um, wouldn't maybe be present in adding a different mob. But um, looks like we stumbled upon a village and a pillager outpost, which is super awesome, actually. That's like it's amazing how close they are too, and of course a village is going to like increase our chances of survival by a lot. 
So yeah, we'll go and take a look at that. And I just remembered I literally went right on top of a shipwreck and I forgot to loot it. I'll have to do that later, but let's go uh, to this village and see what we can find here. Someone asked, what do you do with excess copper ingots? Um, I would say the solid, like non-cut copper blocks. Um, I'd say they're a really good building block. Um, there's definitely not a lot of use to copper outside of um, building. And, you know, of course, there's a lightning rod and things like that. But, um, yeah, I would say, you know, the oxidized and the fully unoxidized um, solid copper blocks are something I would really enjoy building with. Um, and I would say that would be a good use for them. Um, you could also make like just an insanely large amount of um, the lightning rod blocks because they do have somewhat of a unique shape and you could use that for like a bunch of decorations and builds and sort of like fill your builds with that. So let's make ourselves some bread, not too much because obviously this is kind of more valuable as a breeding food. So we'll do that. Let's see, someone said, what is your strategy to get better at the game? Um, I would probably say... Hmm, that's a good one. I mean, of course, you know, part of my channel is just showing people how to get better at the game. Um, but I would say if you think about like my main strategy for it, uh, probably just trying to be really aware of your surroundings. I found oftentimes when Minecraft players will die, it's because they were focusing on something else or they sort of weren't really looking around them a lot. Um, if you're on PC, I would say make sure your mouse has a really, um, a really sensitive uh, DPI, which means like when you move just a little bit, you're... Uh, face will move a lot and the reason for that is you can look around really quickly see if there's something behind you or around you um, I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a second here so for instance if I go like from right here um, this is like maybe half an inch I just moved to go all the way in a circle there versus you know with some people I've seen kind of using their mouse a lot and if you can look around quickly you can wing around see if there's a creeper and just navigate like that Someone did a super chat saying, you're the best. Thank you so much to ZCat4V for that. I really appreciate it. All right, so we found this village. Um, there's no blacksmith, of course, although there isn't usually. I seem to be having some frame drops. I might just turn this down to... Actually, the simulation distance is high. I'll just turn that one down. Okay, um, yeah, we don't have any like blacksmiths, but there is some food crops here and stuff. So sorry for the frame drops as things load in a bit. I found some weird frame issues in 1.19 and I do have um, sodium and uh, iris on but still it's a little bit weird lag issues there so I might save and join the world again in a second here if those keep happening but we can just turn this down to like 20 chunk that might help somewhat. Yeah anyway um, let's see here so we have do we have any potatoes? No those are carrots. I'm sure there are. Here's some potatoes. No, that's beetroot. I think those here's the potatoes. Okay, so we can make a farm with that. Um, see, someone asked, uh, will you try to find the deep dark and warden? Yeah, I probably will. Um, if I have time, of course, if there's one around here. I mean, if there's no mountain biomes, it's just there's not really an opportunity to do so. Um, the ancient cities are very common, I found. Uh, probably a lot more common than you would think. So, you know... I would say in general it shouldn't be too hard to find that, but of course if there isn't a mountain biome around then it wouldn't really be worthwhile. And hey, here's some more bread and uh, nothing crazy, but we may as well grab that. So I think we should probably make a house. Um, this village is a pretty good place to settle down, I think. It's a little boring though, so I don't know. Um, but I think overall probably pretty good. Um, so let's go go mining I think we get some iron get some better tools see if we can survive the mining trip and you know uh, if I die really early on I'll just start another world but of course um, ideally I wouldn't want to die so uh, I was like oh let's go set my spawn point out here but it's obviously hardcore so let's take a look here um, I don't have any torches which is a little bit dangerous um, ah there's some coal up there sorry if you guys can't see a thing but I will try and get some torches in just a second here and then we can see and I will put those up and um, hopefully you guys can hear the Minecraft music I have playing in the background there. If not, um, I can adjust that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully all the leveling is good too. All right, we have a cave and we have some torches. So let's mine up the rest of this coal. Someone asked uh, if you could add anything to Minecraft, what would you add? Hmm. I think I would probably add some sort of like little atmospheric additions so things like 
probably more flowers, um, maybe like more recipes. Like I find it interesting that, you know, there's so few food recipes in the game. I, I understand the idea that every single item should sort of have a unique purpose to it. Um, but I feel like, you know, things like the fact that there's no direct way of eating eggs from chickens, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, you know, so I feel like something like that would be a really small change, but one that would just sort of um, add a little bit more to the game's uh, sort of realistic factor. Okay, let's take a look here. And here's some more coal, and we also have... Ooh, oh, look at this, two iron veins, which is awesome. These are, these are pretty big iron veins, actually. That's great. Do you think weather in the game is a good idea? I mean, there is weather. Um, I'm guessing you're meaning like more like seasons, like if there'd be like a winter and stuff like that. Um, Yeah, I mean, that could be interesting. I, I, I understand why they don't add it, and I don't really think they should add it. The reason why is just that... Um, if, you know, let's say you built like some kind of a Christmas build and like a snowy biome and then suddenly it turned to summer, you know, it, it wouldn't be that good of an idea. So, um, but I think, you know, maybe there could be certain biomes where there was weather um, or even maybe better, they could just have like a really specific, let's say, you know, fall biome. I feel like um, a summer biome I would think of as like, you know, jungle and coral reef, winter biome, obviously the snowy biomes, the uh, spring biomes, you know, maybe the... Um, flower forest something like that maybe even just the plains biome sunflower plains um but like for the fall um you could say birch forest is a fall biome and you could say maybe mega taiga is but like in general you know it's it's not really that much like the fall so adding that could be a good way of adding sort of like that see someone asked me what do i think of the demo version of minecraft um, the demo version of Minecraft is really funny. It, I think it's like locked into one seed if I remember correctly, but yeah, I mean, you know, I think it's better to have a demo than no demo. So obviously, you know, um, it, it's a good way of trying out the game. I think that's what, what, like 90 minutes, 120 minutes, something. I think it's like 90 minutes they let you play on their one. So, you know, it's obviously not that big of a deal, but um, yeah, it's an interesting thing. And I, I would say like, it's, it's nice to have that because if people haven't played Minecraft, especially if they haven't really watched many videos of it, which, you know, would be hard to find someone who hasn't watched a Minecraft video here and there if they're interested in buying the game. But, you know, still for those rare cases, it, it can definitely be good for that. Uh, someone keeps asking me what my opinions are on the upcoming banning and reporting changes. Um, I'm sure everyone has opinions on those, including me. I'm not really going to give my opinions right now because it's still in the, um, uh, my brain. <laughs> it just turned off. Um, it's still in the, uh, snapshot stages. And so we'll see what happens with that. Um, you know, obviously it's, it's definitely a big change. Um, and I think that, you know, uh, it's, it's good that, um, people are giving their opinions on that you know i think it's good that people talk about something that is such a big change because obviously it's important not to do something like that without any thought into it i'm just going to turn my weather sounds down a little bit here because i do not want to hear the rain so there we go we could give the iron golem a handshake to instantly end the hardcore world but i don't think i'm going to do that um okay so we got our iron um let's make a, f a little smelting station uh, once we get the iron tools, we can start building a house. And look at that, 400 and is that 452 concurrent viewers? That's pretty good. I'm actually like, that's awesome, honestly. Thank you guys for that. That's a lot more than I thought. I was thinking like maybe 50, but like, hey, that's great. Um, hopefully I can keep up the stream for quite a while here. And yeah. Let's see. Why do you think this game is so addicting? That's actually a much deeper question that I would think most people would um, assume it is. Um, you know, Minecraft has a lot to it, and I would say at the basis of it, what makes it such an, an addicting game and such a game that is obviously so popular after so many years, I mean, it's crazy to think that um, the most popular game in the world is a game that, you know, is whatever it is, almost 13, I think about 13 years old now. So. Actually, I think it's a little bit over 13 years old, you know, and that's a pretty crazy thing, obviously. And I think um, the reason why is that, you know, at the basis of it, I think Minecraft is a life simulator. You know, it really, especially in survival, it gives you those aspects of real life a lot of other games don't. And I think the biggest aspect of that is sort of like free choice to do what you want to do. There's There really isn't any set out path. Obviously, you know, of course, there's there's things the game wants you to do, like, let's say, defeat the Ender Dragon or raid a Bastion or things that are, you know, um, 
pre-made things you can enjoy with the game, but in general, I would say, um, probably just the fact that, yeah, it's like, it's so open-ended, there's so much to do, and also it's such a simple game, it really is easy to pick up. Um, of course, there's actually a lot of complexity to it, but I mean, like, from the very base level, it's sort of like, um, it looks very simple, so it's not too, um, overwhelming from the start. Someone asked, what country are you from? And I am from the snowy paradise. Well, it's not very snowy right now, but the snowy paradise of Canada. Um, yes, I'm, most of my viewers, I think, are from the States, from what my analytics tell me. But yeah, I'm from Canada and also just realized I need to let these last two pieces smelt. So we will do that. What animal would you want added to Minecraft? I kind of already answered that question earlier, but if we're talking like an animal, not just, you know, any mob um let's go look for a cave i would probably say maybe like uh like a grizzly bear or something because you know there are like um you know polar bears and there's biomes that could definitely have grizzly bears in them and so i think it would make sense now i see a cat and i wish we could get the cat but i don't think we have any way of fishing it right now unless there's some string around so Let's just make an iron axe and start chopping down the trees here. I don't think we have to have, like, anything crazy to build a house. And, you know, it'd be good to have something that's sort of established. We can run into it at night or something if there's mobs chasing us. Are you playing in hard mo mode? Um, I'm playing in hardcore mode, so that's locked into hard mode no matter what. There's, like, if I go here, there's, there's no way of changing that. It's stuck to hard mode. So, yes, I am playing in hard, but also hardcore. Yeah, and basically, um, I'm thinking that after we build the house here, we can probably go exploring around, see if we can raid some different structures. Someone asked me if I'll raid a, a woodland mansion live, and I mean, if there's a woodland mansion around here, I'll definitely go for that. But, you know, obviously that's not incredibly probable. Um, it's like it's becoming night again, or maybe it just is dark. No, I think it is becoming night. <laughs> Someone asked me, have you heard of the hit game Among Us? No, I've, I've never heard of it ever in my entire life. <laughs> oh boy. Someone asked, will you get a 100k play button? Uh, yeah, I should. I mean, um, I'll, I'll be up. I, I don't know if they send it out or if I have to apply for that. I, I'm not sure, but I'll definitely be, probably be getting that because I'm pretty sure YouTube sends those out to anyone who gets 100k. Someone asked, will you do any banner tutorials in the future? Um, probably, yeah. I, I love, I really love banners actually a lot. And they're a part of the game that I find is really used by a lot of players. I mean, you know, of course people use them, but I think that in general, um, it's a lot less used than let's say maybe, I don't know, um, just standard building would be, or even, you know, maybe just using signs. And I feel like a banner is almost like a way of painting or something like that. Sort of like a custom painting. I mean, you know, not exactly, but yeah, and, you know, I've, I've got to the point with banners where I can basically design most things that um, I would want to. And so it'd be interesting to sort of show people that process of like, how do you actually design something with the banner from start to finish? I think that would be a, a cool video, maybe like an ultimate banner guide you might see in the future one day. So yeah, definitely. Someone says, hello from, I might mispronounce this, but Uzbekistan, you're the best, and thank you very much for that. It's amazing how many international viewers I have. I mean, uh, I, most of my viewers are international. I think like 5% are from Canada. So uh, yeah, no, it's awesome to have people from all around the world. It's probably very late at night in Uzbekistan right now. So yeah, but um, thank you for joining the stream. Absolutely. And I really appreciate um, all my fans being on here. And yeah, so let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit boring here, just chopping down the trees. So let's see what we can do to make this a bit more interesting. All right, so we got the trees. Um, I'm thinking like maybe one or two more birch trees. Just, um, I always like birch wood for a floor. So we'll do that. And let's try and answer some more questions. Someone keeps asking, will you continue this series? Um, I have no idea. I guess it depends on if I die or not, right? So you'll, you'll um, have that question answered during the rest of this live stream. Let's pick up our saplings here. Um, someone was commenting on one of my videos earlier that they were saying, uh, actually, no, it wasn't on a video, it was on a community post that 
they found that alleys were really good for um, when you're doing tree farming. And I thought that was actually a really good point because, you know, all these stupid saplings that drop around. I mean, they're not actually stupid. They're obviously a good item, but in the sense that, you know, it can be hard to go around and grab them all. Uh, definitely is a cool thing to have to have those pick those up for you, um, especially since they have a pretty good range. So um, I guess that'll be the end of our little tree chopping expedition here. And uh, I will go and get a little house set up in the middle of the village here. Maybe later on we could like wall off the village or we could do something to protect it. Um, but it's overall a pretty nice looking village. Um, I also have like this little bit of water here. It might lead out to the ocean. It might not. So Oh yeah, it looks like it does actually. So we could build like a dock here or something. That's really cool. It's sort of like um, the villagers sort of built it like little inlets so they could have access to the sea. Hmm. Well, it looks like over here, I'm sounding like a villager here. Hmm. hmm. But anyway, it looks like over here there's um, a pretty flat area. So that could be perfect for a base. And I'm going to place down a chest and get all the random items I do not need on me in there so that we can build that and not have to deal with getting just um, some dirt on the ground because of course we'll have to go mine that up and hopefully there'll be a nice cave around here we can uh, get in a minute to get some more iron because we're getting a little bit low on that because I didn't mine very much at first because that first cave was fairly small someone's asking what seed am I playing on I don't know I did a random seed um, I'm hoping that once the uh if i die i guess i could show the seed or something like that i don't know or i could show the seed later on but yeah i, I have no idea honestly just random seed uh someone asked are you ever going to do a survival series kind of like a guide explain it in a simple way um maybe i, I definitely have been considering um let's plays things like that i'm not exactly sure what i'll do in the future with that um but I do at one point want to make that because I really enjoy them. I just, you know, I want to do what would sort of, um, you know, the most of my viewers would want. And I'm not sure if the vast majority of my viewers and, you know, just people who would stumble upon my channel would want a Let's Play or if they would just want, you know, um, tutorials and, and guides and things like that. But, you know, doing a mix at one point in the future could definitely be an option. Someone asked, why don't you use shaders? Um, I mean, I, I think I could actually turn them on right now. I have it on the, uh, where is it here? I think I have it because I'm on Iris. We could go to video settings, shader packs. Yeah, we could use one of these for a minute here if you want. Um, I don't usually use shaders just because I found they sort of have, or I guess I'll enable this. Refresh shader packs. There we go. Um, I don't usually use shaders just because they can make visibility things weird. Like this is looking very odd. I'm not sure if the shader has glitched a bit. Like those leaves look very strange, but anyway yeah i found like just visibility wise they can be a little bit odd but yeah i mean here's your shader for a minute here if you want it do you think a uh, dog should get armor someone asked honestly yeah i think that would be really cool um although i think if they did add that maybe they would have to add like cat armor and parrot armor so you know i could i can see why they don't but um i, I think the idea of having that would be cool because you know um, dogs do fight for you and so giving them armor would be a great way of protecting them and making them more viable for like a, you know, more than just sort of a novel strategy of fighting mobs. Like, you know, I, th I think even they could have like maybe special enchantments for that that would increase the dog's attack, like really making it into more of a useful thing. And, you know, of course, most people I think want them to add different dog breeds as well. So yeah, like a pet update would honestly be a cool thing to see in the future. see someone said uh, i think they should add a way to upgrade diamond horse armor to netherite yeah i totally think so i'm actually really surprised they didn't add the um the diamond horse armor out uh, of the uh, netherite horse armor it's very strange to me that they didn't do that um maybe the idea behind that is they wouldn't want people to be using horses in the nether um but in that case you know you think there should be like strider armor or something if you know that's supposed to be like the nether transportation mob but you know totally i think they should add netherite horse armor here, let's turn the shaders off here. Unless everyone wants them, I guess you can tell me in the chat if you if you um if you want the shaders or not. But I'll just have them off for now till you guys tell me. 
Please make a tutorial on how to raid another fortress properly, where to find good loot and stuff. Yes, that is planned in the future. I'm not sure if that'll be like close in the future or far in the future, but 100% I'm planning on doing a nether fortress tutorial because there's a lot there, especially with gaining brewing ingredients. So I might focus more on that side of it, you know, um, best way of getting brewing ingredi uh, ingredients quickly. Um, but yes, I will do that. Here's a little trick you guys probably know, but if you don't, uh, it can save you time. If you're doing a floor, if you use slabs um, for like the bottom part here, um, you don't really notice there's slabs when you're walking on it, but it saves you 50% of your logs. So that's kind of a cool thing and definitely makes things more efficient. And so we will put in our birch floor for this rather boring shaped house, but I mean, I don't know, I guess, I guess I could make it a little bit more interesting in a minute here. Someone asked, did you ever play Terraria? I have played Terraria before. I think I said this on my uh, 50k um, Q&A, which is insane to think that that 50k Q&A was like two months ago and now I'm at 100k. So but yeah, I have played Terraria. I'm not very much at all, like probably an hour or two. Um, so yeah, definitely not like a Terraria expert or anything here. But um, from what I uh, could tell from the game, it definitely seems like it's quite fun. And, uh, you know, I might play it again in the future. Someone said, any tips you wish you knew sooner? I find that an interesting question because, yeah, there's oftentimes been things that um, I, I once I would find them out, I would, I would wish that I'd use them for longer. One of them is kind of on the more technical side. Uh, when you're on your Minecraft launcher, you can um, allocate more RAM to the game if you're on, like, the Java edition. And I didn't know about that for quite a while. Um, and then when I did discover that, it it was, you know, awesome to have my game performing better. Um, but I also kind of felt stupid that I hadn't figured it out in the first place because my game was running so slow before I'd done that. Someone asked, will you join the Dream SMP? <laughs> um, I mean, if I could join it, I probably would. Um, obviously, that I don't... I mean, the Dream SMP, I haven't seen a lot of info about that lately. I'm not sure if it's um, being, like, super relevant right now. Like, I have no idea, honestly, though. But, um, yeah, I, mean, I guess if I was invited to that, I would probably join it. Let's see. Someone said, what are your other hobbies? Um... Uh, other hobbies let's think here well obviously doing um go get some birch logs but yeah other than doing uh, minecraft and youtube i would say um i do like doing a lot of art stuff so sometimes i'll draw sometimes i'll do like um some balloon art you know like balloon animals things like that sometimes i'll um draw like art on you know online or whatever i'm nothing like crazy obviously and i'm you know but i'm um, just a little bit and yeah and so, you know, sometimes i'll play other video games um Sort of like I'm really interested in the sandbox genre. There's some really fun games that um, I enjoy that are all sandbox, like a lot on Steam, things like that. So I'll do that as well. And yeah, those are some other hobbies of mine. Someone said, any plans on doing a face reveal? Um, yeah, I mean, I have nothing against doing a face reveal at all. Um, I definitely want to do one in the future at some point. I just obviously want to find the right time to do it and, you know, just to have like a uh, something really good planned for that. But, you know, in the future, you'll probably see that. No promises, but I would say, like, there's nothing I can think of right now that would stop me from doing that in the future. So, yeah. <laughs> Someone said, bro, what do you think about Ocean Monument? I think it is so useless. Um, I mean, I would say the Ocean Monument itself is kind of large and a little bit plain. Um, but obviously, the sponges that you find in it definitely make up for that. And I just realized it is nighttime, so I better sleep because we're on hardcore. I guess I'm making this kind of a boring hardcore because I'm sleeping every night, but, you know, obviously surviving is kind of the point, and later on when we're, like, raiding the nether, stuff like that, that'll be when it's a little bit more deadly, so. Let's see. Someone said, what are you making? I am making a house, so. Yeah, it's a little bit boring, but, yeah, just making a sort of uh, traditional, well, not super traditional, but like a pretty standard Minecraft house, uh, just so that we have a place to live, and I won't, um, I'll kind of lower my chance of dying, of course, because, you know, the first kind of steps in hardcore, uh, do things to minimize your chance of death, and yeah. Um, it is interesting, because I feel like there's sort of a, a point in Minecraft, oh, there's a cave, I should definitely remember where that is, because I need materials, but, 
yeah, I'd say there's like a certain point in Minecraft that you have to like cross a barrier. Um, and once you've crossed that barrier, then you're probably going to be fine. And I would say in terms of like hardcore, that barrier would probably be getting your full iron armor, maybe like your full diamond armor. But, you know, like, for instance, what we're going to about to do right now is very risky. We have to go into that cave. And because we don't have any iron um, armor, right, it's going to be a lot riskier than at any other caving journey we'll probably ever have. So the chance of dying there is really high. Whereas in the future, the chance of dying from something like that is definitely going to be a lot lower um so i may as well make a shield though that'll definitely increase our chances of survival and um i guess it's like that so we will make the shield and you guys might be wondering why i'm doing the manual crafting i just prefer it because i have all the recipes memorized so i don't know i just find it more fun um do i have any food i can bring also, someone was saying earlier they can't hear the background music. Um, tell me if you can or not. I do have it playing. It might be a little quiet, but um, yeah, if you guys aren't hearing that, I can try and adjust that so you can. Someone says sodium, iris, or optifine. Um, sodium and iris are kind of compatible, I think. Like, doesn't one deal with like entities and one deals with um, like blocks and things like that? Because right now, I believe I have sodium and iris on on my thing. I don't remember which part of the site. Yeah, Sodium Renderer, but I think Iris is part of that too. I don't remember. Um, I mean, Optifine's fine too, obviously. I don't really care. I just... Uh, Iris has um, a lot of compatibilities and uh, yeah, I mean, they're both pretty good though. I've also found Optifine's menus to sometimes be a little bit hard to navigate, so there's that. That's, uh, I thought I was coming here for food, that's why I grabbed the raw mutton, but no, I'm coming here for torches, so we'll make those. Let's see here. What is the first farm you think you'll make? Hmm, the first farm. I would say, you know, I mean, generally the first farm I would make in a world would be something I can't get easily. So like, I wouldn't usually start by making an iron farm, although you could. Um, this go golem here is very happy I wouldn't start by making an iron farm, but oh my goodness, that's an abandoned mine shaft. <laughs> but to quickly finish your question before we um, very adventurously explore that abandoned mine shaft, um, the... Uh, the question was, uh, first farm, probably a gold farm. I'm not sure if I'd do that on this world, but, you know, gold can be useful for big piglin bartering, sort of gives you unlimited access to those items. So maybe like a gold farm, maybe even just like a auto pumpkin and melon. No, I hear a skeleton. This is like the, this is the point where you might see me die, guys. So just be aware, <laughs> just be aware. I should actually probably grab some blocks that will like heavily increase my chance for survival. And that is a really look uh, cool looking woodland or not woodland mansion a really cool looking abandoned mine shaft so it'd be very interesting if it was the woodland mansion underground like that look this a 20 dollars super chat that is incredibly nice of you um they say best of luck on your hardcore run and congrats on 100k your voice is very relaxing to listen to well thank you um i definitely try and make my content as um i guess relaxing as possible i'm not sure if i uh, emphasize on being relaxing but yeah i'm, I'm glad that you enjoy that um yeah, so we're gonna get some building blocks here. We'll just get some planks so it doesn't look too ugly. And we'll get the axe there and we'll organize our hotbar. Um, organizing a hotbar, just as another little um, interesting bit of info, I would say is also a good way of saving your life just because if you're in like a very, very um, quick action scenario, if you know exactly where a tool or a, or a weapon is gonna be, that can definitely um, save your life. So let's put the food last. Okay, let's see if we can conquer this and get the iron. I hear the skeleton. Hmm. Uh, opinions on lush caves, someone asks. Uh, my opinions on lush caves, I like lush caves. Um, I would say I, I wish that the um, items in the lush caves had a bit more use. Um, like maybe, you know, like that cool giant flower. I forget the name of it, to be honest, but that cool giant flower, like I wish maybe that would have more... Um, functionality like maybe you could brew it into something maybe you could you know do something with it that wasn't you know purely decorative um but uh, like outside of that i would say yeah no they're really good this is the uh center of the woodland mansion they always i think it is anyway they always generate with like this square thing although this could be I put on chunk borders here is that a chunk border no it's not if it's if you ever see like weird blocky things like this and it's on a chunk border that usually means it's like a, a terrain glitch Okay, I still hear that skeleton, so I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I think it's above me. Um, someone says, 
Is there a way to make the smallest gold farm? Yeah, I made like my micro farm series a while ago and people seem to enjoy that quite a bit. Um, in terms of like a gold farm, I don't know if it'd be worth it to make a small gold farm. Um, I've, I've made very small, oh, there's a skeleton. I made some very small gold farm designs before and um and they do work it just obviously if you're going to go to all the effort of building something in the nether you know if it takes you 10 minutes to build or let's say an hour to build and the difference is by 100 times more efficient i would say generally you just want to go with the bigger build Someone says you missed cool yeah i missed a lot of ores here as long as i don't miss iron i'm doing pretty good but yeah i'm gonna try and mine as much as i can for now um big thing obviously right now is the iron because you know if we don't have that we're gonna die and uh yeah i mean it is hardcore, although we could always level up here and try and get as many levels as I have concurrent viewers, which is now at 546, which is awesome. So thank you again for that. I'm really, really appreciative of that. Um, I did not expect that many. Let's see here. Let's see, this looks dangerous to me. I hear a spider. Okay, I, you know, I definitely hear a spider. Um, I think they're above me again, but wait, this could be where they are. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. There's the iron. I, won't, I would not forget that one. So let's let's grab the iron. Someone said, your voice is as soothing as it is in the videos. Have you ever tried narrating audiobooks? I have not, but I, I suppose I could look into that. That might be an interesting option, um, a choice. Um, it's funny because um, the biggest thing I always try and do just to let you guys in a little, um, I don't know what a secret, but sort of an interesting thing you might not know, is that um, I tend to want to speak very quickly. Um, like very very quickly and so my biggest thing on my videos is trying to speak slower because you know um, oftentimes I'll really just speak like this and be very very quick and it's very hard to understand what I'm saying so you know uh, that's not ideal for a video or for a tutorial or really for anything um, and so maybe that's one of the reasons why I sound more relaxed is I'm just consciously trying to not speak too quickly and thank you for all these and really nice comments here um, let's see here if Mojang does an end dimension update, what do you think they should add? So just for a little bit of context on that, I would say at this point, I'm thinking 80 to 90% chance 1.20 is an end update just because it makes, oh good gracious, that's a poisonous spider. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, um, sorry to interrupt. Okay. It's okay. 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 Uh, just a second here. Okay. I think we're safe. Partially safe, where we are stuck. Okay, so to quickly answer your question um, before I um, defeat the the spider there, um, basically in an, in an up in an, in an end update, I would um, I would want to see some end biomes. I'd want to see basically just like a duplicate of the Nether update in terms of like what the features are. So you know, new structure to maybe maybe not a new ore. I mean, well, maybe a new ore, but maybe not like a new um, or like Netherite. So like maybe not like a Nether tier of upgrading, but just something like that. All right, so we're about to face our biggest test ever. We have this poisonous spider on the loose. Now, I feel like a, uh, a stair is going to be what's going to save our lives in this scenario. Because this, I think they can actually crawl through a slab. Uh, okay, let's do that. Um, let's see here. Can we still see it? I'm just trying to see, because I think I can hit it through this, right? So I'm trying to see if I can see it around... Because these guys are pretty dangerous. Um, use the fence to block her in here. Um, I could. I, I don't know if you can actually hit through fences on Java, though. Um, I can try that one. Not going to hurt. So I'll do that. Oh, that's a fence gate. <laughs> that's the problem with doing manual crafting. It's sometimes you mess things up. There we go. Okay, I really do hear that. Um, I think it's above. Sometimes if they get... Okay, I'm just going to risk it. Hmm. Oh boy. Okay, I can't hit it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's stress. That's stress gone. Okay, it's it's killed. We've killed it. We've we've slain the spider and it dropped us a string and an eye, which I suppose is iCraft MC reference, by the way. No, it's not. But um yeah, um that's a good thing, I guess. I do hear more of them. Obviously that first one came from somewhere, so I'm gonna get like right out of here and try and go to a different part of the mine mine shaft. Do you like doing redstone? Someone asked. A redstone um yes i do like doing redstone i'm not as good as it uh, um at it as you might think um but 
I do enjoy it and I definitely want to learn more about it as time goes along. Maybe start doing more redstone tutorials. Um, big thing I've been looking into just on my own lately is making like vending machines. That's super fun and with redstone you can make like some amazing, comb um, amazing combinations. Um, for instance, I made a vending machine that will give you... Um, what is it? It'll give you automatically brewed potions, so when you buy a new potion, it'll automatically brew another one to fill the potion that you bought, kind of an idea. So it'll, um, okay, it sounds like the spider just fell down here. I'm just gonna temporarily block myself up. <laughs> but anyway, oh goodness, okay. But anyway, yeah, I do like doing redstone. Hi, CraftMC, what is your FOV? Um, so I play on a rather big monitor. It's not too big, but it's, um, I don't remember what it is. I think it's like 28 inch or something. So I do, um, 80. Uh, sometimes I almost just feel like going like full Quake Pro. I just, it's a little bit distorted. Like, I feel like if I was never going to record things, I probably would do Quake Pro just because, um, especially if I just got my face a bit closer to the screen, it's kind of, kind of more like real life. Um, uh, but I go with 80. I know most people, I guess, would go with 70, but I just find it feels a little bit too zoomed in. So if you ever find my videos are looking a little bit more zoomed out than um, maybe you would normally see, that's because I'm on the FOV of 80. Okay, I'm going to try and escape from here. This is, like, fairly risky. Um, Okay, there we go. <laughs> would you ever do a tutorial on how to get Sodium or Optifine to work? Um, maybe, yeah. That's not something I would necessarily be against. Um... The only problem with that is that that wouldn't apply to my bedrock viewers, but obviously, you know, I make videos all the time that don't apply to my bedrock viewers. I just, you know, try and make videos that apply to the most people as possible, but yeah, it definitely would be possible I could make a tutorial on that in the future. Hope you're going to stream more. Your voice is awesome. Thanks for all the vids. Truly enjoy them. Such great work. I got to go need my frames. <laughs> See you soon. Thanks. I uh, thank you very much for the nice comment and... Um, yeah, I might stream more. I'm not sure if I'll stream on here or on Twitch. I do have a Twitch, by the way, and um, I don't really care if you follow me on there or not. I mean, I would I would like it if you followed me on there, but I haven't streamed on there once, so I understand if you guys don't want to. Um, but, you know, I might end up streaming on there in the future, um, as long as the streams don't mess up, like, the um, YouTube algorithm around my standard videos, I would, like, I would love to do streaming, like, maybe every week, maybe every other week. I'm not sure. But yeah, probably every week. Um, as long again as long as it doesn't mess up things because obviously the algorithm can be a little bit picky okay i don't know what that one sound was um but i also found this and it does not have good loot in it but it did generate floating in the air so that's kind of a novelty i suppose let's break this here. look at that it's like completely floating that's that's funny if i place this here is that going to pop off no oh now it popped off i guess i i had to ruin it didn't i <laughs> oh boy that's interesting though hmm we have enough iron for armor i'm not sure what is your favorite video you've made? Hmm. Probably my new mining guide. I'm, I spent way too much time making that, and uh, but I'm really happy with it, and I think that it's probably the best video I've ever made. Probably will be the best video I've made for a very long time, just because um, I don't usually have as much time as that to make a video. But yeah, I, I thought this was emeralds for a second. It's knows it's a stupid um, glow lichen. Well, cool looking's actually kind of cool, but obviously mistaking it for emeralds is not. All right, I guess we could just grab this as string. I was wanting that fishing pole earlier, so now I'm going to ruin my iron sword, but whatever. It is funny how iron swords sort of have like, well, not just iron swords, but any swords have like the double use of being a um, cobweb breaker. Let's see here. Um... Uh, would you do mod showcases? Mod showcases, hmm. Um, maybe. I mean, I think it's not completely impossible. Um, I don't know. Uh, I would say I'll have to find, um, I would have to do more research into that if I was going to make a series out of it, you know, not just that, oh, it's nighttime, I should go to bed. Oh, do I still have my bed with me? Yes, I do. Hopefully the, oh, that was close, I nearly fell down there. Um, hopefully the villagers didn't die because it was nighttime, but... How long does it take you to make your videos? That's a good question. Um, um, it depends on the video. Um, I would say like at least 10 hours. Um, it does depend a lot though. So like, it's not like I could say, you know, every video is going to take 10 hours and usually it's more than that. Um, there is a non-poisonous spider there. Um, but yeah, like I would say probably, probably closer to 20. Like I would say I usually spend 
maybe 60, 70 hours a week doing YouTube stuff. So like if you just divide it by three videos a week, you, you sort of get, um, you know, 20 ish hours. But again, it does depend quite a bit. Like the mining guide was probably like 40 hours, but you know, of course it's definitely worth it. Let's see here. What made you want to start Minecraft? Um, I guess just how different of a game it was from every other game. Like just because I saw opportunity in it that I just couldn't see in any other game. And so to me, you know, that's what made it um, a good game to try out. Hey, look at this golden apple. That's pretty awesome. Um, I actually, well, I guess it's not enchanted, but still it's pretty good. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers when I don't even have um, iron armor or <laughs> any armor for that matter. Let's see if I can kill the spider. It's always nice when they get kind of stuck like that. There was a creeper down here, so it's probably incredibly... Okay, that is incredibly stupid. <laughs> it's like, it's probably incredibly stupid to go down there, and what do I see but a creeper instantly? So, yeah, I'll probably wait to go there. I wish there was more iron here. I guess it's not really the white, uh, the right level. I keep saying my R is wrong. Let's see here. This goes to the other side. Uh, any video you had to scrap? E yes, not um, usually... Um, but like a long time ago, I had made a, uh, this was like a long time ago, like when I had like a thousand subs, I had made this massive video about, um, I think it was about raiding the ocean monument, but then because a new update had come out, it had changed something. And so I ended up having to get rid of it. And it was like 40, uh, 40 minutes long, something like that. But, um, and also sometimes I'll forget to upload something. It's very rare, but, um, a long time ago there was like this little video about enchanted golden apples making banner patterns and I had made it in like February of 2021 but didn't put it out to like September of 2021 just because I didn't remember till then. Are you enjoying the deep dark biome? Uh, I haven't been in it like an insane amount. I was saying earlier I'd been, done stuff with the warden somewhat and of course I have um, as well as with the deep dark. Uh, but I would say as a whole, I do find it very useful. Um, I'm not sure if I would find it like, you know, um, the biome itself I don't think is that, um, like, surprisingly good. I would say it's it's good. I'm, I definitely think it's more useful. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay, that was close. <laughs> I, should, I should be more aware. Um, that got my heart racing. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, um, the deep dark is pretty good though, so yes, there's your question. I need to get some iron before I die. Um, Okay, let's go up here before I die of a heart attack. Um, let's see. What is your favorite biome? Why is your voice or your voice so relaxing? I love your videos. Keep doing the work. Favorite biome. That's a little bit less stressful than a creeper. Um, let's see. I think my favorite biome is probably the. Um, I really do enjoy the Mega Taiga. Probably just because it reminds me of um, Canada, just to be honest. I mean, the Mega Taiga is really similar to places we have here. Um, but as well as that, I really do like the Flower Forest. Um, the Coral Reef is it amazing. Really, really good biome there as well. So, yes, that would be some of my favorite biomes. But I don't know. I mean, there's some also some biomes I find sort of like... I feel like they would be more interesting if they were um, had more features to them. Like, I think in theory, the Mushroom Islands is awesome. But, you know, in terms of, uh, in terms of actual, like, just how it looks, I think it could definitely use a bit of improvement. But I think, like, the concept of that would be probably one of my favorites if it was a little bit modified. Why don't you make building tutorials on Minecraft? Um, I, I could. Uh, I'm not incredibly good at building, although I, I suppose, I guess that's in, up to everyone's interpretation. But, um, yeah, at this point, it's just not my focus. Um, but, I mean, you know, you, I could always do that. You might see that in the future. Uh, maybe especially something like a base building tutorial. I think that would be more likely than anything else. Uh, what do you think is the most common biome? I think it's ocean. Um, I it, Like just standard ocean. Um, or it might be plains. I, I think I remember researching this a while ago. Uh, for land biomes, 100% plains. Just especially with the new update. Plains is incredibly um, common. So is forest and, and birch forest too. Birch forest is definitely more common in 1.18 plus than it was before that. So let's make ourselves some shiny iron boots that will ever so slightly protect us. But I suppose they look vaguely, I don't know, fashionable or something. So there we go. Um, let's see. Um, 
I love basalt delta biome. It fits very well with the nether, as it is genu uh, genuinely difficult to do. Yes, yes, basalt. Those, yeah. Excuse me, basalt biome is a great one. I really enjoy the basalt biome. Um, in, in terms of its appearance, yeah, probably one of my favorite nether biomes as well. I think like the warped forests um, functionality is nice, just because the idea of a peaceful mode nether biome is something that um, is definitely. Um, it's unique, and I also think it gives people more opportunity to build bases in the nether that they wouldn't usually have that opportunity to do so. And of course, you'd want to be in the center of a uh, warped forest, not just on the sides of it, or you know, maybe like a ghast would shoot you. But yeah, like if you're in the center of a warped forest, that's a that's an amazing nether biome just in terms of its functionality. But in terms of visuals, yeah, probably basalt delta is my favorite. Um, let's see here. Do you also play Minecraft for your own, um, I'm guessing that's supposed to be entertainment? Yes, absolutely I do. I mean, if I didn't do it for my own entertainment, I'm not sure why I'd be a YouTuber for it. Um, I, I definitely have had less, less time to play Minecraft for entertainment than I did um, before I started my channel. But, you know, I, I enjoy learning the game as I make tutorials as well. Um, obviously, you know, the tutorials are a mix of knowledge I have and research I've done. Um, and so I feel like, you know, it's it's been 100% a plus in my experience of the game. But, you know, yeah, I definitely do still do it for entertainment. I have a couple um, little small survival worlds. Like, I've been having one I've been working on lately where I have been trying to... Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Where I've been draining an ocean monument out. So that's something that is uh, kind of interesting there. Uh, four, five. Making a very little bit ugly ish traditional house. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too ugly, but you know, just like the classic one. I'll try and make it look nicer, though. Maybe like a second floor interesting thing or something. One, two, three, four, five. Someone says. Oh, I can't read that. Uh, what do you think has been the best update and why? Hmm, I'm always kind of torn between the Nether update and Update Aquatic, um, but I'd probably say Update Aquatic, honestly, it's it's just an amazing update in my opinion. I think that um, the ocean was so barren and there was just nothing there, I can't really see it being that controversial in the sense that it's not like it's removing anything, it's not like it's changing anything, it's just adding things, you know. Um, and I think that too, the ocean was something that just genuinely needed to be updated. Obviously everyone has different opinions, um, but in my opinion I think the ocean was the most needed to be updated thing before, you know, 1.13. And so um, I know there were some weird technical things they changed at the game at that time as well, but like in terms of the, the actual features of the update, that was an amazing update in my opinion. Any general advice for new YouTubers? Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. I would say the first one is uh, be consistent with your posting. Like, make sure you just keep posting and don't stop, even if what you're posting isn't necessarily um, what you would consider to be a good video. Um, if you don't you know, post things, you won't be able to improve. Um, there's no such thing as posting your first video and having it be perfect unless you've had tons of previous experience. And so if you're just starting, I would say um, just try at it, try and improve slowly. And I mean, you know, if you keep that up, then yeah, you could probably make it someday. What is your biggest achievement in Minecraft? I mean, in Minecraft itself, I'm not sure. Um, I was showing in my 20, oh, what is it? I think it's 20 things to do if you're bored in Minecraft. I was showing my uh, one of my older um, survival worlds in there. Um, it's not too old, but uh, yeah, in, in there I've done a lot of crazy stuff. Maybe some of my biggest achievements would be there, like that massive skyscraper I built, or maybe like the sort of, um, like... I don't know, like there's some there's some things in there that are quite um, time consuming. I'd made uh, a crazy gold farm in there that I didn't show it in the video, but um, I'd probably farmed like 20 double chests of gold blocks out of it. And it was funny because on my statistics page, it was like, um, you know, whatever you've dug up, 100,000 dirt or whatever it was. And then like above that was like, and you've crafted 2 million gold ingots or something funny like that. So definitely was something I spent a lot of time on on that world was um, tons of uh, gold farming. What is your favorite disc? Hmm. Well, the music discs are really good. I have them, um, some of the music discs playing in the background here. Um, actually, I think they'll eventually play most of them. 
Uh, I would say like um, far is a really good one. Um, weight is a really good one. I found some of the some of those types of ones have a lot of history behind them, and so whenever I listen to them, I always sort of imagine a bunch of old Minecraft videos I've watched, you know, from way way back in the day that um, that played those music discs. So they're very nostalgic to me in that way. Um, but in terms of the actual music to it. Um, you were saying you like Pig Step, and Pig Step's definitely something that um, is quite good. I'm not sure if uh, it's my favorite, but I would definitely say it's a really good music disc, and I'm really happy with the music that that um, gave to the game. Let's see. What is your job besides being a YouTuber? Well, my job is being a YouTuber. Um, I, uh, I've gone full-time on this since... Um, well, actually, for quite a long, long, long time, but I went like fully full time on this um, in probably January, and yeah, I've been doing it since then. It's uh, definitely a full time thing. It's a lot of a lot of effort, a lot of time, but it's totally worth it. And I think it's an amazing career that I've been blessed with, and I'm incredibly happy that um, I have it. And I really want to um, provide the best I can to people with this opportunity I have to, uh, you know, just teach people more about the game that I like so much. What is the most annoying mob for you? Okay, I should start doing something as I talk. Um, the most annoying mob for me, probably villagers. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not sure if it's villagers, although um, villagers can definitely be quite annoying. Uh, I mean, skeletons are, are quite an annoying one. Um, definitely a easy way to die. I found creepers are sort of like, unless they have the element of surprise, I haven't found them to be too annoying. Um, Zombies can be just annoying, like not necessarily dangerous, but just annoying when, um, because they have this weird rule, I'm not sure if it's like this in Bedrock, but in Java where um, if you kill a zombie, there's like a chance of another one just randomly spawning nearby. And so, you know, that's sometimes why, like when you're fighting zombies, you'll have like an eternal horde of zombies just keep coming after you. It's not that there were that many in the first place, it just was spawning more and more of them. So yeah, I found zombies can be quite annoying, especially when you get into like a death loop of that when you're killing maybe eight zombies at a time and just like another one replaces it. the last one as it dies. It takes like five minutes to, to go through them all. I got a super chat. They said for two Canadian dollars. So thank you to the Canadian viewer. They say congrats on 100k go Canada. Best way to find kelp. Well, kelp is really easy to find. Um, if you're having trouble finding it, um, you can use chunk base to find an ocean. Like if you're in an ocean, generally there should be kelp. If you're just wanting to like get uh, kelp off the ocean floor, I do think there's a biome that doesn't have kelp in it. I can't remember it offhand. It might be the frozen ocean. And also, well, the warm ocean doesn't have it. And so, yeah, I guess you want like a lukewarm ocean, a, um, a cold ocean, or like just a standard ocean. That would be probably your most ideal places of finding kelp. Someone asked, do I hate Minecraft? Yes, I completely hate Minecraft. That's why I'm I'm enjoying playing it as we speak. Um, let's see. How long do you plan on streaming? Uh, I don't know how long I've been streaming for. It's uh, It's been... Has it been two hours? No, it's not. It's been, I, thought, I was about to say, has it been two hours? No, it's because I get my clock wrong. No, it's been an hour. Um, more. I mean, I'm hoping for... I don't know, I was thinking three hours, so we'll see. We'll see what I can do. I, I might, it might be end up being two, but I'm hoping... Um, I'm hoping about three, so let's see here. All right, we've got enough planks and, and logs and things, so we should be able to do that. And oh my goodness, I just remembered something. The, the uh, and I instantly forgot it. No, I, I, uh, what is it? The pillager outpost has the alley and the, um, goat horn at it oftentimes so that could be a really really good place to go in a minute here once we get better armor um because we could like integrate some of that 1.19 stuff like fairly early on which would be great so let's do that but i'll have to go mining first and that stupid abandoned mine shaft doesn't seem to have much in it so i'm hoping that um we can get more things uh iron wise soon First time watching you live, just sub this month, enjoying your content so far. Well, this is my first time going live, so you're watching my first stream ever, so you haven't missed out on anything, don't worry. And I'm really glad that you are enjoying the content. I've gained, I don't even know, some insane amount of subscribers this last month. I think it was in the last seven days, I've gained like 11k, something like that. So 
um, it's been going very, very quickly, and um, I definitely welcome all my new and old viewers alike, not only to the stream, but also to the channel and all the things I have posted here. I would definitely suggest any new viewers as well to look back through my videos. Um, I'm not saying like the really ancient videos, but um, I've oftentimes had people in the comments request a video I've already made, just because they haven't like looked really, really far back on my lists. And I do have some playlists as well you could look through if you want some, some stuff there. But I would say like I've already covered a lot of the game in my tutorial. So I'll definitely continue to cover it, but um, um, so I would say like there's a fairly good chance if you can't find a tutorial of mine, you could probably just look it up on my channel search page and, and find it there. Let's see. Haven't played Minecraft in years, and your videos help me catch up with the updates. Thank you. Well, yeah, no, I mean you're really welcome. I I love to help people learn the game, and before I did anything on YouTube, um, even before I thought of of doing YouTube, um. My favorite thing to do in Minecraft was to help other people play it, um, and just because I found it's, it's such an amazing game, I think it's a game that may be the most popular in the world, but I think there's always more people that should be playing it because it's it just it, it gives people so much more to do and so much more freedom than I think any other game does, and I also think there's really some um, educational opportunities in it. Although you know most people might then find that kind of funny, I would say um, it's uh, it's definitely a, a game that is very good. Uh, what do you think 1.20 will be? A bunch of people have been asking. 1.20. Well, I said earlier I thought it would be the end update, um, just by chance. Um, what do I hope 1.20 will be? I would say um, probably a general sort of like 1.15 kind of thing where they add a little bit of stuff, but it's mostly just behind the scenes things. Um, although what I would like to see along with that is a lot of little quality of life changes. Um, I do think that it's very probable that either 1.20 or 1.21 will be a quality of life update. So that'd be things like, you know, maybe a couple new crafting recipes, maybe finally adding bundles, maybe, you know, improving the technical, you know, sort of um, functionalities, things like that. Um, uh, I think that that would be something the game's been needing for a while. There's definitely been a lot of performance issues lately. And, um, you know, focusing on that for a little while would definitely be a benefit in my opinion. I think we have a Sweden coming on with the background music there, which is pretty nice. Let's see here. Get our sand or uh, sand into glass. Let's see, desert or savanna. Desert or savanna. Probably desert. I, I just think desert is interesting because it gives you a challenge. And I think that, um, yes, there's the villagers there. Yes, there's the um, rabbits there. But if you get those out of the equation, a desert is incredibly hard to survive in. And even with the villagers and that, you know, because you can't get uh, logs in the biome, you know, if, if you were spawned in the middle of a massive desert biome, you know, like let's say a thousand blocks, any direction you went from, from where you were, uh, you would probably have to just mine underground and find a abandoned mine shaft to get logs. And speaking of that, I was, there's a cave right here, so I should probably go down there and grab some iron. Let me just... I have like the most squeakiest chair in the world, so give me a second here. Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's get some more materials for that. Let's get some more torches. Do a video on sand then. <laughs> yeah, it's a sand tutorial. Um, I, I've seen those on YouTube before actually, which is interesting. Um, yeah, that would be an interesting guide to make as a sand guide. Uh, maybe if they do a desert update though, like a desert guide would be cool. And actually, something I've been thinking of for a long time, we'll see what I end up doing with it, um, is to make like a, a biome guide series. So I would go through every biome, um, obviously, you know, not like to a stupid extent like today. I'm going to be talking about, you know, some small variant of something like, I don't know, like, uh, you know, gravelly hills or something. But like, to, you know, maybe more like a, a video talking about all the ocean biomes, a video talking about maybe all the taiga biomes, a video talking about all the jungle biomes, uh, something like that. Um, I was thinking of doing and if you guys are interested in that I would be very interested in the feedback on that because um, it would be more of a long-term series and so if it didn't go well that would not be ideal. Cats or dogs? Cats or dogs? Hmm. Here a zombie it's worrying me. Um, uh, I'm not sure I really like both actually I would say like I feel like dogs are more sort of if you want a lot of activities around them. And I feel like, like I don't know if we're talking about Minecraft in real life, I guess. I, I guess in really on both, um, there's a creeper there. Um, 
in Minecraft, I would say probably probably cats actually, just because they give you the uh, random items if they're stood up when you sleep, and also, of course, there is the um, the scaring of the creepers and phantoms. So that's that's a pretty good functionality as well. Jacob Truth asks, "Are you left or right-handed?" I am right-handed, although sometimes I wonder if I was left-handed and then I was just trained on my right hand because, I don't know, I, I don't think so, but sometimes I wonder just because um, oftentimes I'll want to do things with my left hand, like, you know, lifting something or, or like, you know, pointing to something, but uh, I'm not sure, I, I would say, but at this, I mean, I, I do everything with my right hand, so probably right-handed. Let's see. Did you ever play a lot of large mod packs like like FTP? No, I actually haven't. I've played very little modded Minecraft. Um, something I want to get more into, to be honest, is modded Minecraft, um, because it expands the game to such a big extent. So I think that uh, modding, uh, well, I wouldn't be modding it, but playing a modded version of the game could be great. So yeah, absolutely. Also, um, do whatever you want. But if you guys want to like the stream, that would be a great way of making it getting uh, promoted to more people, so more people can see it. And more or less, the more likes there are, the more YouTube's going to show it, and the more successful this first live stream will be. So if you guys want to like that, that would be awesome. So anyway, I will chop down this tree. And uh, while we're while we're plugging random things. Um, if you guys are interested in uh, following me on different things, I do have a Twitter, I do have a Discord, um, I've never read it, and I have a Twitch, and if you guys want to follow me on those, I have links to most of those in the description. Um, there is not a link to the uh, Reddit in the description, but there is on some of my older videos, or you could just Google it, and I'm sure you can find that fairly easily. Um, okay, let's take a look here. And yeah, there's also the Discord server, so... Okay, so our house is looking... Um, fairly ugly. <laughs> I think I should probably get some material for the roof. I was about to say I could do the acacia logs for that, but I feel like that wouldn't actually look too amazing. I'm wondering, like a stone roof, like a stone slabs, that could be cool. And we got a lot of we got a lot of um, coal. Let's see here. Are streams monetized? Do you gain profit from streams? Uh, I think this is monetized. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, Obviously, when people send super chats, that directly supports me, which is incredibly nice of, of people to do that. Um, and I definitely appreciate the super chats. Um, yes, that's the answer to that. Can't stay to watch, but keep at it. Well, thank you, Jacob Candanosa, for that comment. And I will definitely keep at it for as long as I can um, until a creeper explodes or something. Um, let's take a look here. So, uh, iron is definitely going to be found down here. And this is also going to be where danger is. So it's like that thing I was saying earlier, the we're in like that big leap stage where you have to do the dangerous thing to to have any future in this world without, you know, taking like three years to do something. Um okay, that was a lag spike. Don't know if you guys saw that or not. Um let's take a look. Not feeling too bad. This cave's looking fairly safe. And I do hear a spider. This is like the ideal place to die from a creeper falling on your head, so you know. Oh here's some iron. Look at this, and I think we need, I need the math in my head for a second here. We need five iron for the helmet. We already have the boots. We need eight for the chest plate, seven for the leggings. So uh, we need 20, unless I'm incorrect, and you guys will probably all correct me. Um, but I'm assuming it's 20 we need, so. I love this Minecraft song in the background. I think it's one of the creative mode ones, because um, I have like a, a playlist going of that. But yes, um, I love that song. see uh what is your pc specs my pc specs are um <laughs> i just got a new pc so they're they're fairly good um i before i got my new pc which i think was the beginning of may i had like a converted office computer so it was like something i just got for free and then i basically had a friend put a um, 1080 ti graphics card into it and some like old um like storage and uh basically that's kind of what i was using for about a year and before that i had like this 
horrendous thing where it was basically this massive uh, touch screen thing where like the computer was literally in the touch screen. Like there were parts of the computer hanging out of the back of it. <laughs> so it was definitely interesting. And I even recorded some things on there, like any video of mine that's before like mid 2021 was recorded on that. So that's pretty funny for a bit of trivia there. And on that screen, sometimes like random red lines would appear on there, but oh, there's a spider. Uh, but yeah, for my current computer, um, I can show you on my F3 screen. It is a uh, 3090 4K display, um, uh, 1.9, 12900K uh, uh, CPU with like, I think whatever, I think 128 gigs of RAM. I basically got one that's so crazy because um, I want to do 4K videos, which I have done now. My mining guide was in 4K. Um, this stream is in 2K. Oh. oh, okay. Well, that's the end of our hardcore world. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Um. We didn't get that far, but I mean, hey, that's part of hardcore. It's part of dying. Um, yeah, that's a that's a pain. But yeah, that was the end of the. Um, <laughs> that's not the end of the stream, so don't leave the stream. Um, well, you can if you want, but ah, uh, uh, here we are. Well, okay. <laughs> oh boy, that's the end of that. Well, okay. Let's think here. Are we gonna do? We can do survival. We can do that. What I could do, if you guys give me a second, is I can do a new hardcore, but we'll do it in like a set seed. It'll be more interesting because this was a bit boring. Um, I have a seed video coming up soon with some really cool seeds, so um, just give me like a minute here and I will get like a really good seed up and we can go right to that, which should be awesome. And that one has a woodland mansion and lots more at spawn. So let's take a look at that. Uh, where is my list of seeds? I'll need about one minute here, so give me a second on the paused screen, but... No, I was, was like the creeper. I know, because I, so, I was thinking I had the shield in my hand, so I was like, I paused, turned around, right clicked, and I was like, nope. Shield's not in my hand, that <laughs> teaches me shield or, shield or totem for hardcore. And uh, yeah, unfortunately. Um, let's see here, seed, seed, seeds. Let's take a look here. Um, uh, let's see. Here it is. Okay. I'm going to do a, let's see, Mansion City with Bridge. Um, mansion room. Okay, here we go. This is the seed, and I will show you guys that in a second. Uh, okay, save and quit, and we will start a new world. Create new world. We'll call it <laughs> Hardcore Live Stream or something like this. Put to hardcore, and we will go to seed, and this is the seed, negative three, two, three, five, two, seven, three, three, eight, one, six, six, zero, seven, nine, one, five, oh, one, and we will do, um, all those other settings as is, hardcore, now this is actually a really hard world to survive in hardcore, because you spawn in, um, well, we'll all, you'll see where we spawn in. Someone's <laughs> Jacob says, that's a very nice hardcore live stream you have. Would be a shame if something were to happen to it. Yes, that's what the creepers definitely are saying. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, I feel like most hardcore worlds are probably ended by a creeper. Um, I definitely would be more annoyed if that was like, I, I don't know, like multiple hours in. Okay, so this is the spawn of this. This is an insane seed. Um, you spawn on the roof of a woodland mansion. There is an ancient city like way beneath us, you know, whatever, negative 58. You're in a mountain ring, so you're basically fully surrounded by jagged peaks. And in the center of that is the dark forest. And there's also a lush cave, and I don't think you can see it right here. But there's like this insane lush cave that's basically a hollowed out... Um, part of the entire mountain chain. So there's like a whole part of the mountains where the mountains are completely hollow and inside of that It's just a massive cave that you could turn into a huge base. So definitely interesting seed um, I could start by reading the with mansion, but probably not a good idea finding food here will be a bit of a Okay, I'm not gonna instantly die from that. <laughs> but um, yeah, um I could find uh, some food here. I I'm trying to think what I could do. Maybe probably mushroom stew Probably that's ideal now I don't know where to find some beds. There's a lot of wool that usually spawns in woodland mansions. If I can find like a little safe room, I could definitely grab some wool from that and be safe. It's uh, very rare, I would say, to spawn on top of a woodland mansion. So this is one of the best seeds I've found um, ever. Maybe maybe not the best, but one of the best. Okay, there's the pillager. We're going to steal from that. Um, or that's the display one. That would look kind of ugly if we did that. A bit of birch forest. Let's see what's down here. Chat, uh, sets he is dumb way to play. <laughs> well, I mean, everyone has their own opinions. I don't know. I think it's just maybe a little more interesting. 
Let's see here. Okay, here we go. There's the bed, and there is a pillager, so we're going to have to fight for our first wool, which will be interesting. Uh, this one is safer. I hate to ruin the woodland mansion, but hey, we'll get a traditional red bed out of it, so that's pretty good, eh? It's like the old uh, pre-1.12 would be. See, that's a beautiful spawn. Yeah, it's an amazing spawn. It's, um, I can't believe how good it is, actually. When I found it, I was just shocked, so yeah, that'll be coming out in a video on... I'm going to say Wednesday, but it might not end up being Wednesday. It'll be eventually, though. I'm doing a video. It's like, I think it's like 20 or 25, uh, 1.19 seeds. So, yes. Let's, uh, let's do this. Someone says, I, this is a scary seed. You are brave. I don't know if it's that scary of a seed. It's um pretty good one, actually. I found, like, woodland mansions are, I don't know. I feel like once you sort of... Um, once you've sort of have like even like iron armor, they're not honestly that hard, but it does depend of course. And I mean, here I'm saying it's not honestly that hard from the, from the guy who just got killed by a creeper, but you know, still, let's get some of this. Let's see. Uh, actually, I, I, someone was just saying that they saw my mansion video an hour ago and I just realized how appropriate this is that I'm at a woodland mansion and I just talked about that so I can show the strategies live, which is probably pretty cool. So there's our red bed. And we'll also get a pickaxe, or that's not a pickaxe. That's a pickaxe. Well, sticks are a pickaxe. Let's see here. Good luck not dying. Yeah, I'm hoping I won't. Um, I'm hoping I will not, and I will try and be more aware of creepers and things like that. I. I mean, I guess full iron armor wouldn't have actually protected me from that creeper blast, but, you know, I mean, still, it would have been, uh, would have been better if I didn't die, but it is what it is. Let's take a look here. We got some coal. Is this crazy how people can play hardcore and playing easy is hard for me? I mean, the thing about Minecraft is that, um... The difficulty, like I would say normal and hard aren't probably as difficult as you might think. But the only reason why I don't play in, let's say, easy mode normally is just because um, there are some distinct disadvantages to it. Um, so obviously, yes, the mobs don't hurt you as much, um, but there's not that many things that are different with it. So I believe in easy, mobs don't hurt you as much, and you, um, you when you zombify a villager, they'll never turn into a zombie villager. So to me, like getting really good villager trades is definitely worth the um, the more dangerous mobs. But, you know, that's kind of my opinion on that. Will this whole stream be put up on your channel? Yes, it should be. Um, I may, uh, I may, like, put it on, like, a, um, like a second playlist thing or something, just because I don't know if I, it'll go, like, fully public, but it'll be, like, yeah, it'll be fully accessible once it's done. So, yes. Right, we have a bit of coal. We got a bit of materials. Um, if there's like a really easy to grab loot chest here. Oh, actually, I think I just remembered what's at the seed. Oh yeah, this is the crazy seed. I think there's two um, diamond blocks in this woodland mansion. I don't remember, but I think there's like something crazy like that. Um, okay, let's see here. So food is a big thing. Let's get that before anything else. Um, I guess we should get some, well, some stone things first, but other than that. So let's make ourselves a... Hang on, look at this, we have a super sticker by Smoked Gaming, and thank you very much for that $10 super sticker, I really appreciate it. Um, let's see here. Make a furnace, and we will also make an axe, because an axe will give us mushrooms, and mushrooms will give us mushroom stew, and bowls will give us mushroom stew as well. Let's see. Someone says, is, is this set seed? Yeah, if you just joined the stream, this is not a set, or this is a set seed. Uh, definitely not extreme luck, although that, that would be cool, but no, it's a, it's a set seed, because I thought it'd be a little bit more interesting than the last world that I died on, so yeah, I don't know, I mean, it's a definitely a cool seed either way, so it'll be cool to take a look at. Let's see here. Um, let's think of what I can do to avoid that. I'm thinking more iron earlier on. I'm probably not going to do as much just random stuff at first. Do a little bit more serious on this one. A little bit less, uh, I don't know. I'll try and stay more focused on not dying. Someone says, do you have any YouTuber that is an inspiration to you? Um, 
kind of. So the original stuff I would make on my channel was sort of like really old style Let's Plays, like maybe something you might see from like SB737's really old Let's Play or um, Stampy's old Let's Play. Um, and so I was sort of inspired by those when I made that part of my content. Um, but after that, I, my tutorials weren't really inspired by anyone. I mean, obviously I realized that people were making tutorials on YouTube for Minecraft, but um, they, they sort of just like naturally progressed from the first tutorials I'd made to uh, what they are today. And what they are today hasn't changed too much since maybe December, January, although you know, I'd, I'd like to hope my editing and things like that is slightly better. But um, yeah, in terms of like the the inspiration for my channel in general, it was it was probably yeah, watching some of the more classic Minecraft YouTubers Let's Plays and just their experiences with the game. Now, what I need to find is I need to find uh, dandelions because we can turn this mushroom stew into suspicious stew, but I don't know if dandelions are available here. I was going to say, I wonder if there's a structure in the mansion where they generate. There probably is. Oh, there's a creeper. We're not going to let you. You are not going to have this hardcore world and Mr. Creeper. Oh, and here's the sheep. This is going to really make the hardcore world not end. Actually, no, it's not, because I just got a red bed. I forgot that. Okay. Um, We can make an animal farm. We don't have any wool, though. Let's see here. Oh, there's the entrance to the mansion. That's good to know. All right, well, maybe we could make a little base near the entrance of the mansion. That's probably the best idea. We could mine into the um, cliff face. That'll give us some protection. Let's see here. Ah... Uh... Let's see. Uh, someone says, have you ever played Stardew Valley? Um, Stardew Valley? I have played Stardew Valley, yes. Uh, quite a while ago. Um, so, well, I thought that was a creeper. Uh, quite a while ago. Uh, but yeah, no, I have played it. It's a pretty fun game. It's um, It seems to be pretty popular still, which is good. And I think it's, you know, it definitely has a good following to it. No, Stardew Valley is a, it's a pretty good game. It, I suppose if Minecraft ever fell out of popularity, it would probably be a game I would play on not uh, like this channel or something, but yeah, for sure. Let's see. We never got to hear a computer specs. I did say them earlier on. Yeah. Let's see here. Okay, well, we're just going to make our standard suspicious stew then. Um, like that. I was, I was going to keep clicking because I was thinking they don't, they stack, but they definitely do not stack. Um, when are you doing the 100 players simulate civilization? I never said I would do that, but um, I do want to do one of those. Uh, or, well, actually, maybe I did do something like that in my live stream, so sorry if I did say I was going to do that. Um, or not the live stream, but the 50k Q&A. Um, but yeah, no, I, I do want to do those eventually. I still am not sure if my channel has enough um, uh, active, like, or not my channel, but I'm not sure if my Discord server has enough active people to make that possible still. Um, but once I see, like, let's say 100 people being really active in my Discord server, then I would know I would have the capability to do that, right? Because, of course, unless I have 100 people that are going to be being incredibly active, one of those videos wouldn't work. But, um, yeah, I mean, if that happened, I, I really do want to make that kind of content soon. Um, I don't know, super soon, but eventually that would be a fun thing to try at least once or twice. Any tricks to farming mushrooms? Hmm. Any tricks to farming mushrooms? I am not sure... Uh, well, actually, you know, there are some tricks. Yeah, so if you have, like, some blocks above it, you can block the light. That makes it easier. Um, there's, there's actually some interesting... No, there's actually a lot on mushrooms. Yeah, because you can, like, have, like, a... Um, let's see if I can show you. Um, I can make a little mushroom farm here. If you go, like, to this... If you go to, like, a little area where it's dark, and you place, like, a couple mushrooms down, they'll kind of spread. So there's, like, two ways of farming mushrooms. There's bone milling them to make giant um, mushroom trees, and then there's also just... Um, placing them down like this and just letting them spread really slowly and it's actually a cool mechanic in the game because there's um, not a lot in the game that's uh, that's farmed that way but yeah maybe in the future you might even see like a, a mushroom farming guy that might include the nether uh, fun guy in there too how did you come up with your channel name um my channel name well the first part of it which is I um, I came up with because of my skin because it's a character with a giant eyeball. Um, the craft part, I was just, 
I saw some different YouTubers having craft in their name, and I thought that would kind of has a nice ring to it, I craft, and of course the MC at the end, because I've seen YouTubers do that as well. Um, and also, uh, you know, at the time, of course, I was just trying to make something that fit in. I wasn't really thinking of, you know, a long-term uh, thing, but I think it's a good uh, channel name and, you know, that's sort of where it came from. And um, I know a lot of people ref ref refer to me as I craft. Um, uh, my channel name is just I craft MC. I don't really care if people call me I or I craft or I craft MC. But yeah, that's basically where that came from. Let's smelt this, actually. Not all of it, but a bit. Maybe like this. Let's see. Have you played Bloons Ta Tower Defense 6? I have not played Tower Defense 6. I have played Tower Defense 5, um, which I enjoyed quite a bit. Pumpkins. Let's get a pumpkin farm going. Not very useful food-wise, but um, definitely an interesting thing to farm. Hello, I hope you read this. I just want to know, I want to let you know that you have helped me learn Minecraft and now I teach my friends as they begin their Minecraft journey. Well, that's awesome and I'm really happy to teach people and they can teach others and, you know, as a whole we can sort of um, teach more and more people about the game. So, absolutely, that's awesome. Are you a Lifesteal SMP fan? It seems like you could take over one easily. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I mean... You know, I think that's definitely an interesting concept. I'm not sure if um, I would get involved in one of those or not, but it could be something to look into. Okay, let's see here what we can do with this Woodland Mansion. It's driving me insane. I'm not reading it yet. Um, but of course, the Vindicators are going to be fun. So let's see. Hmm. Now here's my base, which is looking a little bit shabby. I could just try mining for like a cave. Or actually, there's that big... Uh, what am I thinking? I'm in a mountain biome. I just have to go up high and there'll be uh, tons and tons of... Um, of iron so let's just grab a bed um, because of course there's no spawn point setting and let's go to the top of the hill and get some iron now the jagged biggest jagged peak is there that's kind of far I bet one of these has iron too uh, uh, dude I've discovered you four days before and you managed to reburn my minecraft passion stopped playing it years ago I'm 23 now. This game changed so much to do right now. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely no problem. I definitely um, have had a lot of comments by people saying that um, I've helped them get back into the game, um, which I'm really happy to do. I think, you know, there are a lot of big changes. It, you know, some people have said Minecraft stayed more or less the same through the ages, and I think that is true to a point, but I think there's also um, a point too where the game has definitely uh, had some major updates, stuff like the mining system change. I mean, 1.18 as a whole, maybe it didn't add any new items, but it certainly radically changed the way that the game function so yeah i'm really happy to teach people how to do that and they can enjoy the game um with its new updated form which i think is better some people may not but to me i think it's uh it's a really good one here is a goat you get a goat horn from you Ooh, an emerald i'm not gonna run that with stone that would be kind of stupid but here's our iron i thought would be up here and there's probably enough to get our full armor so maybe we can be more successful on this seed and you can kind of see part of that lush cave if i zoom in here you can kind of see um, part of those lush cave entrances there I was talking about. There's like the most insane lush cave you can ever imagine on here. So we'll have to take a look at that in a bit. Um, that looks deadly. So let's, uh, let's go this way. Maybe we can find some more iron. In fact, there's some iron there and there. So yeah, actually, if you're ever on a world and you see some mountains and you need some iron, definitely going to the top of mountains is a really good way of getting iron. Icraft MC, do you ever get jump scared? <laughs> You're probably wondering that because I didn't react that um, that crazy the creeper. Ah, uh, probably not. I mean, I don't know. I, maybe I guess I have, you know, before, but um, I'm not necessarily one to get super jump scared. But, you know, if you put me in front of like a horror game, I'm sure I definitely would. <laughs> so let's take a look here. How do you feel about having exactly 100,000 subs? I do not have exactly 100,000 subs. I have... You have one horn. Sorry to be interrupting myself there. Um, I do not have exactly 100,000 subs. I probably have like 100,000, 200, or 300 or something like that. But that yeah, is really cool to have that many. Um, okay, so this code only has one horn. Now, there, I think they're, I think they can spawn naturally with one horn, but I believe two. That means there could be a random goat horn sitting around here. So I'm just going to turn on hit boxes. We're gonna, we're gonna look for this goat horn because that could be awesome. That is a massive lush cave. I'm not sure if you guys can see how deep that is because the snow is probably compressing the video horribly. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's an insane lush caves down there. 
I mean, it's crazy to see, like, you're looking that far down and there's still iron because it's it's so deep. Let's see here. Okay, um, there's some iron there. There's some emeralds there. Overall, definitely enough for armor. So let's go around and let's find it. You passed some iron. Yes, I did. I'm going to grab those. I'm probably passed a lot of iron, honestly. So I'm going to try and go back and grab as much as I can because iron is going to be our key to survival. And where was the one I saw up here? I think it's on the edge there. There is a chance for a goat one horn. Yeah, I thought there was. Um, yeah, there a chance for a goat with one horn. Yeah. So, unfortunately, that apparently that does not mean there is um a one. But um, yes. Uh, there is a chance that we'll find one in the future. And there's some more iron. Um, but yeah, no. I'm. It would be cool if we found a random goat horn sitting around. I also, um. I need to look more into goats. Uh, something I need to do more research on. I know there's a lot you can do with them, though. Like, you can milk them. They can jump cool like that. So, that's pretty cool, this goat with one horn on it. Um, all right, we got that iron. Uh, let's see what else we have around here. A lot of a lot of stuff to look at. You should have an ASMR channel for your voice. It's very calming. Do you have any tips to find diamonds? Uh, yes, mine at negative 20, or not negative 20, mine at negative 58. Do not mine at negative 20. That's, that'll be an issue. Um, yeah, mine at negative 58. Um, uh, diamond fossils, if you're fine with seed finders, um, look for diamond fossils. That's like insane how much you can get with that. Obviously, some people would think of that as cheating. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. It's up to your interpretation. Um, but if you want insanely fast diamonds, I mean, diamond fossils, that's the way to go. You can get like 10, 20 diamond ore like in two minutes. So <laughs> there's some more iron there. Do you think you'll you'll beat the dragon in this stream? I doubt in this stream. I'm not going to be trying to speed run this. I mean, I could, but it'd be kind of hard to do that at the same time as um as doing the Q and A in the chat. But uh, I, I've tried. I mean, I've done speed running before. I'm not like good at it um in any real sense. Um, you know, I mean, speed running is sort of a different thing from standard survival. But you know, I I don't know. I could probably beat the Ender Dragon in maybe I don't know, probably two hours. I'm not sure. It depends a lot, I guess. I've definitely beat it very quickly. Goats are underrated. They have a goat horn that sounds like the THX sound. That's what Sam Bacam says. Yeah, yeah, they do. It's really funny. The um, sort of evil sounding one, I think. Um, that's a pretty funny one, yeah. Okay, 18 iron, and I should not be walking on the cliff there because that's very nerve wracking. Um, there's some more iron down there, though, I see, and we can get to that. Can we get to that? Mm, yes, we'll go around, though. How do I turn off hotkeys? I can't uh, access the F3 menu. Try Shift F3 or Alt F3 or Fn F3. Um, that can help. Um, shortcuts like uh, F3 plus, you know, uh, G or whatever for like hitboxes, things like that. I don't think you can do that if you have uh, key bounded keys, but you can definitely do like Shift F3, Fn F3 or Alt F3 to, to get your F3 menu. There is an Enderman down there. I could definitely try and fight it, although I don't think that is the smartest idea. There's those emeralds. Um, let's get a little mining thing set up here. Now it looks like the lush... Well, I'm a little bit closer to the microphone. Okay. Looks like the lush cave starts here, and I think that we should be able to um, find some iron there, and yes, we have. Uh, also, the lush cave is going to give us a lot less mobs than a standard cave, because there's the light. Hey, $2 super chat by missing no 0479 what were your choices for all the mob votes? Um, okay, so the first mob vote, um, I don't think I voted in the first one. The one with, like, the phantom. Um, I did vote in the other ones, though. So the, the biome votes, I think I did the swamp, and I also think I did the... Oh, this is really trying to remember back. I remember I, I, remember I voted for the swamp in, the, in that vote. I remember in the first mob vote, I did the... Uh, I think it was Moobloom. For the for the 20 i'm gonna say 29 no it'd be the 2020 one i think and then for the one that was just last year i did the uh copper golem but you know i mean obviously i think all the choices they give you are pretty good um i understand some of the choices maybe aren't amazing but i think that as a whole um yeah i'm not unhappy with what they added and i don't actually think any of the things i've voted for ever won which is kind of funny so but you know i mean obviously um everyone has their own opinions and i'm fine with the majority winning Uh, um, what did you learn from Minecraft 
How has making videos changed your life? Well, I've learned a lot by playing Minecraft, of course. I've learned everything that uh, I show in my videos. Um, making videos also has definitely changed my life. I feel like it's um, it's really changed who I am. Just um, not you know dr dramatically, <laughs> but I would just say it, it's definitely um, it, it's a different mindset. It's a different way of sort of organizing yourself. You know, um, there's I have to sort of be self motivated. I have to you know um, plan things, schedule things, record things, thumbnail things, edit things. You know, so on and so forth. SEO and all that. And um, yeah, so it's definitely something where. Um, it, it's a lot big, I am failing this jump horribly. It's definitely, it's definitely something where, um, you know, it's, it's changed a lot. Yeah. Wouldn't there technically be more iron in snowy mountains as the snow is covering the stone? Cause I remember you saying that in the videos where we generate more when not exposed to air. Um, so kind of, um, there are certain ores that have the rule of the uh, air exposure. Um, not all ores have that rule. So diamonds do. Um, some of the lapis generation does. I think I covered it actually in my newest mining guide a little bit more in depth of um, what ores have the generation rule of ex uh, reduced air exposure and which ones don't. Um, but I don't believe the high up distribution of iron has that rule um, and actually I think the most iron you would ever find would be in the uh, the stony peaks because um, you don't have uh, snow to look at so okay let's get some dirt pillaring going on here and let's grab the iron up there how do you make your high quality video capture do you use a special software package or how do you use your external or do you use external capture hardware well I play on my computer so like I don't have a capture card or anything um, I could, but I don't. So, uh, yeah, well, I use OBS Studio. Um, I'm obviously not a sponsorship or anything, but just saying that um, I'm, I'm, it's not a sponsorship, but OBS is really good. Um, I found that um, there are not a lot of options, and I would say OBS is definitely one of the best. Um, there's Streamlabs as well. I don't use that, but um, there's there's a whole bunch. And I, I, what I personally use is I use OBS. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> this is interesting. Uh, <laughs> I have an idea. Um, watch this. This is a really interesting tip for you guys, by the way. So I'm, I'm, you can see exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm saving and quitting, opening up the world. Watch what happens. Actually, I'm not sure what'll happen. They might've fixed it. What usually happens. Yeah, I didn't die. <laughs> what, what happens if you're falling? I don't know if you think guys consider that cheating, but I didn't really want to die right there. But anyway, what generally happens is if you, if you fall off, um, for whatever reason, if you save and quit and then rejoin, then you don't get the fall damage. But yeah, that was pretty crazy. Um, I got a super chat. Let me just answer that one. Someone says, you have the best Minecraft or Matthew Bursch says, you have the best Minecraft tutorial videos out there. Keep up the good work and congrats on 100,000 subs. And thank you so much for that. Um, I definitely appreciate the congratulations. I definitely um, want to keep going with that. And yeah, no, I, I totally appreciate the super chats too. It's um, a really great way of directly supporting my channel. Um, okay, let's get the rest of this the more legitimate way, which is a boat drop. Um, I was almost thinking of trying to do a boat MLG, but I was fairly certain I would fail it. Now, obviously, we're not actually out of the hot water yet because we're now in the middle of a dangerous cave with mobs trying to kill us. So let's try and survive this one. Um, if we don't, we don't, but it's a pretty cool seed, so it'd be a real shame if we died on here. And I think that this water is going to be my way of surviving. So let's go up here. Um, there are tropical fishes. Let's see if I'm not missing all the chats as I do this. Uh, okay, let's try and figure out what we're doing here. Um, I guess we'll try and get back up to the surface. I had my iron there. Good thing I have this armor, at least some armor. Someone, Phi Kip, donated a $1 super chat. Thank you very much. I appreciate the super chats a lot. Okay, I see some iron up there. Um, let's go grab it. And also, let's hope that we don't get killed. It says, why not change sneak to toggle? Um, I could. The problem with sneak to toggle is that um, it can also be dangerous. Uh, just because I found that... Because I thought I saw a creeper up there. I, I thought, um, basically... What can happen with that is that if you're used to the normal, like, non-toggled sneak, then it can be really disorienting to use sneak to toggle. And because I'm really used to the uh, non-sneak um, toggle, 
then I found whenever I use it, I generally, like I'll sometimes use it in like the ancient cities. But outside of that, I would say it, it can be um, a little bit disorienting. But I mean, yeah, you know, of course, um, can definitely be a good strategy for avoiding fall damage. Okay, we have a $5 super chat by Dark Paladin. Thank you very much. And they say, how do I reveal the durability of my tools? I'm on MacBook Pro laptop. I have tried F and plus F3 plus H from searching, but when I do this, it hides my window. Hmm. That's a very good question. Yeah, the, that's the problem eh? with those, with those, um, with the with the keybound things. But what I would say is, um, if you have an external keyboard, that's going to be your trick. So any keyboard, as long as like it's not pre-programmed, like you know, like let's say F3 doing brightness or something like that. Like as long as those aren't programmed, get your um, yeah, get the external keyboard and then just do the the command from there, and, and that'll that work. And you can of course you know use it again to toggle it off so a bit of a bit of a workaround but i mean obviously you wouldn't generally be wanting to turn the tool durability off so it does usually work i have a comment they say looks like they're verified which is pretty cool they say uh do your parents friends relatives support you for this channel uh yeah they absolutely do they are um they'll basically all know about it and they are uh yeah really really happy and excited for me that i've been able to um grow the channel to this size and i'm going to continue answering that question in a minute once i'm not in such a deadly situation oh goodness okay um let's get out of here i know there's some iron there but hmm, actually i have a more more rave idea <laughs> slightly rave. maybe stupid we'll find out Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. let's see i'll put that there okay we have a shield and this will be our way to not die um also we'll make an axe and then we have our perfect skeleton killing kit uh let's see i love lush caves yes yeah, so lush caves is really good yeah also for that super chat person yeah hopefully that helps you um the external keyboard thing um if not um you could google about like maybe there might be like an app or, or like a way of just temporarily changing the the uh, pre-programmed key yeah i would say generally just an external keyboard will be like your best bet there okay there's a lot of creepers this way um i'm gonna actually go back down here i know it sounds stupid but i think it's actually gonna be our safest bet because we have um, a lot more area to move around here so this is getting pretty dangerous i'm trying to think of our best way just to quickly get out i mean we could always just, you know, I don't know. We could always just pile up, but that just seems kind of... I think we'll run out of blocks, so... Hmm. This doesn't look ideal. <laughs> At least they have some armor, so I'm not too afraid we're going to die. But I guess we could go back up that water, and then we could pile up from there. Hey, look at that. An iron sword zombie. That's pretty interesting. I'm not going to fight them, though, because that would be dangerous. <laughs> I, um, Jacob Truth asks, are you made of moss? I know you've revealed my secret. It's actually funny, I didn't notice this till um, a little while ago, but the, the jungle, um, the textures of the jungle leaves is so similar to the colors of my like skin. It's insane. It's uh, it's really funny. So it's like when I'm in the jungle, I like totally blend in. But it's, it is kind of funny too, because the character that like I based this off of, which is like this little fictitious character I came up with um, when I was really young, actually just in that little story was lived in the jungle. So it's funny that the colors are similar because I did not do that on purpose. Someone asked, or, or uh, Surav Joshi Memes, who is verified, says, I really like that you didn't shout when falling like the other YouTubers do it. Yeah, I'm not really um, super dramatic in that way. Um, so yeah, you probably won't be seeing me shouting too much. I, I, uh, I don't know. Generally, I'm not super, uh, super like um, outbursty like that. But you know. Okay, so I think there's a good way to get up here. Um, got a nice song in the background. I think that's chirp. No, actually, no, it's not chirp. No, maybe it is chirp. Hmm, I'm not going to embarrass myself and say it's something that it's not, though. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, so we have a good way out. There's also, I see some light there. Oh, look at this, but it's guarded by the creeper. Hmm. If I craft some stone stuff, I could probably be pretty good. Because if I just make, like, a uh, sword, and then a pickaxe, and an axe, and a... Well, a shovel's not going to save us, but it's going to give us more capability bit of blocks there a bit of food we can probably make it just have to be careful with that i'll eat some food too because we just run that way there's like an exit there so we are way out of this dangerous cave and i'll probably come back in this cave eventually but you know for now this is pretty dangerous there's a creeper somewhere here and i can't see it because it's blending in oh here we are 
the way out. Beautiful, look at that. Here we are at the surface. That's a bit of time underground there, and here we are back here. I'm just going to grab a drink of water here, give me a second. Okay. Someone asked, will you be streaming more often? Um, probably, yeah. It's my first stream ever, so we'll see what I do with it. But uh, it's, it's done very well, too. I mean, I'm, I'm very, um, very, very happy with how many concurrent viewers we've had. I'm very um, um, grateful for you guys um, tuning in, and thank you for tuning in. I'm not stopping, but um, I just say that because sometimes people will say they're tuning in before they stop. But yeah, no, thank you very much, and I, I really appreciate that. I'm hoping that... Again, yeah, if I don't see this like affecting any analytics badly, because obviously I want to make sure that um, my viewers, um, you know, enjoy my videos the most they can. If a lot of people dislike the stream, obviously I want to do what, you know, people want to see, um, not what, you know, um, just whatever. So, yeah. But no, I mean, it, it seems like people are enjoying it, though. So I'd say in like in most scenarios, yeah, I'll probably start streaming more often. Okay, I just realized I do not have my bed. My bed's back at my old basey thing over here. So this is a little bit of an extra challenge. Um... Now, I know over here is where I had my furnace set up. Yes, and there's the bed. Oh, that's perfect timing. Look at this. Thank you, by the way, um, to everyone I missed in the chat and also all the congratulations. Um, I really appreciate them all, and I hear a mob. Is it a goat? Oh, it's just a goat, I think. A $2 super chat says, opinion on Stardew Valley. Um, I did answer this earlier, but I'll tell you more. I enjoy it. I think it's a really good game. I would say that... Um, it's, it's definitely more story-based than obviously something like Minecraft, um, which makes sense. Um, but I think that as a whole, yeah, it's a really good game. And I would say that um, definitely something that um, I've played before. And uh, again, it was quite a while ago. Huh. Oh my goodness, guys, I found an axolotl. We found an axolotl. Okay, I know I know this iron should be spent on, on armor, but I mean, you, you can't, it, you can't like deny this is like the best use for a bucket in the entire world. Oh, the cutest predator. Okay, that's amazing. Anyway. Axolotls aside, let's get that smelting, and hopefully there's some coal around here we can grab to get the rest of that going. Someone says face cam. I haven't done a face reveal yet, so maybe in the future you'll see a face cam, but not for now. Someone said it's the best use of the bucket. Also, sorry for the delay. I'm sure there's some horrible delay between what I'm seeing and when I'm responding, but uh, yeah, thank you very much for the um, for the kind comments. Take a look here. Okay, so we have our axolotl. We're about to get our iron armor. We're doing way better than on the previous world, and it is almost, well, it's almost noon my time, but we're going to keep going. And I have three hours worth of music, so maybe I'll go to the music stops. I don't know. I could always loop the music, too. I probably won't stream for much more than three hours, so that still gives us more than an hour, though, which is awesome. Let's take a look here. Okay, foo, that would be an issue, but we still have our little um, thing here. Little tip, actually, while we're at it. Um, if you ever want to bring mushroom uh, soup with you, bring it uncrafted. So you can see here we have three slots it's taking up, and that could give us a maximum of uh, five mushrooms too, because there's five red mushrooms. But let's say we had a stack of each. That can be a stack of mushroom soup in only three slots, and, you know, turn that into suspicious stew, put a uh, dandelion there, um, then that's four slots for 64 of, like, one of the best food items. So, yeah, a good way of keeping that, um condensed let's take a look here uh someone says i tried to spawn warden in above the ground but it didn't what should be the condition for warden to spawn okay so the shriekers that you grab will not spawn the warden only naturally generated shriekers so let's say you had mined up a shrieker um i guess with silk touch and you placed it back down anywhere that wouldn't spawn the warden even if you placed it back down a block away from where it generated in um, but let's say you found a naturally generated shrieker um, even if it you know generated like on the very very edge of the deep dark you'd be getting a warden from that and uh, as well as that also the the shriekers that are generated from the skulk catalysts surprisingly enough those ones don't generate wardens so you know even if you want to um like just try and like find a way to get a new warden to spawn every shrieker that naturally generates is more or less like a warden spawner so it's sort of like you know if you find like a mob spawner um you can try breaking it but it's just nothing's going to happen once it's broken so yeah it's kind of like that do axolotls attack players someone asked no they do not attack players um well actually 
I don't know how much I've tested that. I don't think they attack players. I mean, obviously, in, under the scenario in which you'd be punching it, but I don't think they. Maybe they do, actually. I should test that sometime. That'd be interesting to see. Would you consider yourself as one of the better Minecraft YouTubers or more of the decent ones? Um, I don't really judge my own um, content. Um, I just try and make the best stuff I can, and I don't try and compare myself to other channels because, um, you know, I think that everyone has their own goals um, and their own content style, and I think that, you know, um, if a channel can succeed, um, they're obviously doing something right. And so, you know, when I see other channels that are doing something similar to what I'm doing, you know, people could think of us as competitors, but I just think of it as someone else who's found something that works for them that happens to be similar to what works for me. Best way to survive in Minecraft. And that's obviously a very big question. Uh, very big question. But I would say that from a general point, I would just say really try and uh, do things like get a bed as quickly as possible, do things like trying to um, sort of like what I've done, get your armor as fast as possible, get your tools. Um, once you've got, you know, even just iron stuff, your chance of survival is so much higher. I mean, even like right now, let's say there was a creeper that wasn't directly next to me, I probably would survive it. So, you know, stuff like that, um, definitely a good way of surviving. We'll do a little combo thing. Or actually, I won't do the, uh, we'll do that one. I'll do that. Actually, no, I can't seem to get sticks. Let's see. Um, we'll do that. Ah, no, I don't need an axe. There we go. I need a pickaxe and I need a shovel. Go like this. Organize this. Um, here's a question for you guys. Um, how do you organize your hotbars? Do you organize them like I do, where it's like the uh, the sword, pickaxe, axe, shovel? Um, do you have food on your hotbar? How do you guys do that? I'd love to know your opinions on hotbars. Let's see. A lot of people are talking about um, this Canadian political thing. Um, I am aware of it. Um, I'm not going to go into it um, on stream, but I would say that as far as I know, I don't think it's going to affect me very much, um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, any good tips of what you should harvest and do before you update your world to 1.19? Yes. Actually, that's a very good question. I love that question. Um, hmm. I would say the first thing is, make sure that you have a very good area to strip mine that's near your base um, because let's say you're in a mountain biome and you do you know you have a lot of unexplored terrain that's nearby that you would want to strip mine in but you have a uh, deep dark under there probably is safer to to strip mine in an area where there's not deep dark and so you know if you can load in an area um, that doesn't have deep dark that could be a really good way of of uh sort of guaranteeing yourself i'm not going to drop in the exact same place i did before but that's a good place of that's a good way of guaranteeing yourself that um there, there's not like too many things that have been broken in 1.19 um so i can't think of like too much outside of that um i would say like make sure you don't let's say visit woodland mansions um before you visit it like you want to obviously get the alleys things like that um make sure you don't visit pillager outposts i mean of course i'm talking about ones that you haven't um explored before but like if you're let's say on a seed finder and want to go explore those like a day before you update it probably not the best idea because you want to get the the new features okay i feel like we're at the part where we want to make a base because we have a decent amount of materials honestly and we have um, tons of goats, which are awesome. And we have an axolotl, so I feel like it's probably time to start a base. I have two super chats. Hopefully I didn't... Actually, let me just scroll up. I feel like I'm going to miss a different one, too. Give me a minute here on my pause so I don't die. Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. So they say the first one is from Ivatron, and they say, Found your channel recently and have really been getting into Minecraft lately. You really deserve more subs. Thanks for all your hard work. I thank you very much for the thank you. And um, yeah, I, I really um, have been trying to help people who are getting back into the game. Um, actually, just a little preview for you guys. Um, not a, Well, not a preview, but a little hint. Yes, I do have a video coming up soon that uh, talks about specific things that you should know if you're getting back into the game. So yeah, you'll probably see that coming out at some point. Uh, the other super chat is, is for five dollars from SpadX or SpadeX, I think, and it says, "I'm a big fan of your content, and I've barely watched your channels of late. Your videos helped greatly. Thank you so much." <laughs> and I really appreciate the super chats. Um, thank you very much for from for everyone. There's not for every. 
thank you so thank you so much to everyone who sent those is a correct way of saying that i think and um yeah i really um i really enjoy helping people all right well here's a little base we had before we may as well continue on with it i mean i wouldn't really call this much of a base but you know we have our little little mushroom firm here and whatever else so it's it's good enough for now, I think. Um, we could always convert part of the um, mansion into our base, but I think that that should definitely be done once it's uh, completely raided, or that would just be like really dangerous, especially on hardcore. And I, I haven't seen many hardcore players instantly start by raiding a mansion, so uh, we will throw these in here. Is there a particular seed finder site you recommend? I mean, Chunk Base is the biggest. Um, Chunk Base is really the only... Um, well... There are some other ones. There's one called MC Cedar. That one's not too bad. They have like a seed finding feature, like where you can actually put in features you want. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, there's a really old one called Mine Atlas. I don't even know if it's still around, and it, it only goes up to like 1.8 or something. So if you're on like a really old version, that could be a good one. There is some pretty visuals on there, but in terms of like a modern Minecrafter, it's totally useless. Um, but yeah, those are the ones. Um. There are some seed finding programs you can download on your computer. Um, uh, one of them, I forget the name of it, but I have this really cool one. I think it's actually the same one that Dream used to find PewDiePie's Minecraft seed. Um, but yeah, those are really cool as well. I'm just going to drink a water here. <coughs> Someone says, be careful. I got attacked outside of the mansion the other day up in the dark oak trees. Hadn't even been inside yet. Yeah, absolutely. In my uh, Woodland Mansion video I posted today, I believe a pillager went out of the front door and was trying to get to me through some water before I'd even gone in, so they definitely don't have uh, anything against um, trying to kill you before you've gone in. Let's see here. Okay. Um... Someone said, or Edimation said you should stream on Twitch. Uh, yes, actually, uh, streaming on Twitch is something that I want to do. Um, I need to kind of decide at some point in the future whether I'm going to stream on YouTube or on Twitch. Um, but I, I do have a Twitch. I have a link of that in the description if you want to follow me on there. Um, I also have a Twitter. I have a Discord. Discord server is um, really great. There's even a Minecraft server on there if you want to join it. So, yeah, lots of awesome stuff there for... Um, people who want to do more things surrounding iCraft MC. And um, yeah, I'll definitely be streaming more no matter um, whether it's on Twitch or on YouTube. Let's see. What is your favorite mob? Hmm. See, I, I wish there was a way to tame the Warden, because I feel like if there was, it, the Warden would probably be my favorite mob, just because just visually I think it looks really cool, and I think, you know, yes, it's kind of supposed to look like a horror mob, but I think there's also an element to it that just looks kind of, um, I don't know, just sort of like whimsical or something, so um, probably the Warden if you could tame it, but because you can't, I would say uh, maybe the Axolotl, maybe the, maybe I was going to say maybe the Fox, but I'm not sure. I have a moss block and I have no bone meal, but if I did, I could bone meal this and make a little axolotl thing, but um, I could still make a little axolotl thing, it just won't be as nice. Let's see what we can do here with some... Do we have any granite? No. Um, someone says, uh, How irony is it that you can build beacon enchantment table and other ordinary material, but you can't make a simple saddle? Yeah, it is interesting there's no saddle recipe. I mean... I guess the same with name tags. I should probably go to sleep, actually. Um, but yeah, probably, it's kind of the same with name tags, right? Where they want you to find it through alternative means. So, you know, I think that the idea that there's leather in the game, that there's string, that there's all the ingredients you would need for a saddle and that you can't craft it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, but I do understand why they want to give people alternative methods of, of gaining certain items. So, okay, so I think we should do something. I have a, let's see here. Um... I think we should probably, I was going to say raid the mansion, but I feel like a bow is important. How are we going to get a bow? We could go back to that cave. I think it's pretty dangerous though. If I grab a lot of blocks, I could probably raid a bit of it safely. I mean, I have like a, hmm, so it is hard. Those guys are like two hit kills. Let's think here. If I make like a, I think like something special. I could use the boat, actually. Yeah, if I make a bunch of boats, that could be a good little trick to to um, raid the bottom part fairly easily. So we will raid the Woodland Mansion. 
and we still have 419 viewers, which is awesome. So thank you guys for staying with me. This is around about the second hour of my live stream. And just for context for anyone who's just joined on, because we've had, uh, looks like over five, almost 6,000 people who've gone in at one point during the last two hours. So a lot of a lot of people who didn't come from the beginning here. Um, but um, if you were here from the beginning, you'll know. But if you're not, um, I had a first hardcore world I made and I died on it. And this is the second one. And on this one, uh, there's a set seed, so it's a seed I found a while ago where uh, you spawn at a woodland mansion, and yeah, that's kind of the context. Oh, okay, that scared me for a second. I thought he wouldn't go in the boat. Oh boy. Now we can do it. Let's hope we can get the other one, because they don't always go in, but... And just as I said, we can make our little base behind here. Okay, I hear... Let's see if this is going to do it, or if I'm going to die. Oh yeah, it did. Okay, there we go. This is a little bit of a stressful part, obviously. Um, thank you for the Discord link there, Sam. Yeah, everyone, definitely please join that if you if you want to. And um, you just have to, I think it's like, you have to uh, react to the rules with a check mark, and then you'll be given the role, because a lot of times people will join and, and not be given the um, the roles that they can talk on there. But yeah. Okay, guys. Um, I want you guys to vote. Actually, I think I can make a little poll. Give me a second here. Let me see what I can do. Uh, maybe I can't. There is a way of doing it, but I'm sorry, I don't know how. But anyway, um, should I go to the left first or to the right first? I want you guys to answer that as I get some more materials ready. The left of the mansion first or to the right of it first? And we'll see which one seems to have more responses. All right, let's go in our chest here and see what we can get. Seems like everyone is saying oh, left, right, right, right. Okay, lots of responses. It looks like the vast majority say right. All right, well then we will... All right, <laughs> then we'll probably do right. Um, let's see here, anything else? We could bring this bucket to Axolotl. I'm trying to think what I could do, because he needs water. But the water bucket would be really useful. Hmm. Left, right, left. Oh, it's hard to say. I feel like it's a real good mix of the two. I'm conservative, so right. Oh my goodness, it's hilarious. Okay. Um, oh boy. All right. Let's uh, let's make some more boats, and then we'll we'll go raid it. I'm I'm thinking. There's a lot of comments. Um, trying to think which one. I'm not sure. I probably should have made a poll. Let's see here. Left, left, left. Flip a coin. Flip a coin. Um, there is a way of doing that actually. If I grab, I don't have any redstone. If I did, you can make a dispenser. Here, I have an idea. I'll, um, I'll, I'll do this. Okay, if I throw a tool, then it's left. And if I throw any other item, then it's... Or actually, I'll do this so it's even. If I... Th or I'll go like this. Okay. If I throw um, dirt, then it'll be right. And if I throw planks, then it'll be left. And I'll just like go like this with my scroll wheel. And then I will go Q. And it looks like it's left. So there we go. <laughs> That's a good way of randomly selecting something. So there we go. And we'll do like that. And... We'll go left. All right. Okay. So. Ah, uh, food. We need food. Do we need food? We have mushroom soup. We'll make the soup. Um, we need to get some more mushroom soup soon, so I'm not going to read too much of it. But yeah, we'll start with the left, and we'll see what we can find there. So, yes. All right. Um, I'm not going to jump down there. We're going to go around and go this way. All right. So we have these at the entrance. We can try and lure things. So we have, or I think that's the right word. Okay. Um, just being very careful what's around me. Actually, I should probably get a shield. I know, I know the. Um, oh goodness. Okay. I know the uh, the um, vindicator's axe um, will disable a shield, but it still gives you one hit. So it's like a little bit of protection, but. I demand a recount. Yeah, I know. It was hard to say which one it was. So um, there is a way of doing pulls on here, but just to be honest, I don't know how. So um, there's a zombie in here. Okay, let's get the torches. Zombies shouldn't be too much of an issue, and I don't think I'm lagging, so I should be good in terms of that. If I get, like, cornered, though, we're pretty bad. So uh, these are just saplings. We'll grab those in a minute. There's a secret room, so that's cool. Um... I don't think there's any vindicators behind me. That's all that really matters, I guess. So let's keep going. Are you con are you going to continue this series or is this just for fun? I mean, 
it's just for fun at this point. Um, if I, like, survive the entire time, I mean, I, I could. I could do that. Um, this is a really dangerous room, if I remember correctly. Well, I guess it depends, but... Yeah, I would probably continue it if I, if I survive. We'll see. It's an amazing seed, so... I, I don't know if I'd continue it on uh, live streams, or if it would be on video... Probably on live streams, if I did. Okay, here's a Vindicator. Let's see if we can... <laughs> this is funny. Let's see if I can do this. Ah, okay, let me go to that motive before I die. <laughs> Let's see. Um, if you could add a custom mob or item, which would it be? I think that's what they said. Um, custom mob or oh goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Now here's just okay. A little bit of context. If you're ever about to die, always pause. Always pause. Um, because basically it gives you more time to think. So I'm trying to think here. Now, oh man. It's a hard one, eh? About to die. One hit will kill. We have the act. We, we, have, we have the shield. So if we hold up the shield, we have one hit. And then we could run. Hmm. If we hold up the shield, we can run towards it, go through it, and then we can get it back in the boat. <laughs> we'll see if I die. So I might. Sorry about that. I'm. It's not the best at hardcore. Okay, I think we might survive this. Oh, we survived. Okay, that's a lot of... That was close. That was close, I must say. Um, I'm surprised I survived that one. But always good to think. Ah, oh, boy. Let's get some blocks on us. That's gonna make this a lot safer. And careful with those axes next time. That was pretty stupid. Okay. <laughs> Crew with the axe. Yeah, I mean, that, that is what I did eventually. It just, um... It's more risky. Because the shield will give you the protection no matter what, right? So... I go with less risky on hardcore, although I get, you know, critical with the axe would be, would be more cool. All right, let's see what else we have um, food-wise. I think we should chop down some more mushrooms. I know it's a little bit boring. Hey, I didn't know the iron, instamine, oh, that's nice. I thought you had to do a little bit better than iron to instamine these, but hey, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we'll get ourselves a brown mushroom. How do you think your, your survive in Minecraft for? I think you mean how long do you think I'll survive in Minecraft for? Um, I don't know. I nearly died there, so I'm not, I'm not betting on anything too long here, but I mean, we'll see what happens. So, you know, yeah, we will, uh, we will see. And of course, getting like a good food source, stuff like that will help. Um, there's basically everything we'll need to survive in the mansion. There's pre-made farms, there's um, diamonds, there's basically everything. So, you know, as long as we can defeat the pillagers, I think that I'll probably survive on here for a very long time. Because, you know, once you have full diamond armor and stuff like that, it's fairly hard uh, fairly hard to die in hardcore, I would say. And, um, you know, I mean, outside of, like, mistakes and stuff, like, or, like, you know, just bad situations. Let's see here. How hard is hard mode? I kind of talked about this earlier, but, yeah, hard mode is not that much harder than um, easy or normal. Um, because it allows it that the zombie villagers will always turn into zombie villagers. Like, it won't be villager to death, it'll be villager to zombie villager. It's 100% worth it to um, play on hard mode. So, on easy, every villager that's killed just dies. On uh, normal, every villager that is killed is a 50% chance of dying or zombifying. And on hard, it's 100% chance of zombifying every time. Let's see here. Someone says, I don't know if you'll believe me, but the best way to survive on hardcore is to not die. Yes, I would say that's very solid advice. Um, okay, we have our items here. Um, that's insane that we didn't die there. But, you know, the, the closer we uh, clear this out, the better. And I also did notice there were definitely some allays. Oh, I'm out of torches. I should make more of those. That's important. Let's see here, we'll get the coal. And that will get us on our way. And look at that, we're up to 441 viewers again. This is like an amazing amount of concurrent viewers. Just hit over 6,000 people total who have joined in on the stream for at least, I guess, probably 30 seconds, something like that. So thank you very much to everyone. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, again, we're just trying to raid this mansion in hardcore mode. Um, new hardcore worlds, uh, set seed, um, mansion at spawn. So there's the info if you want that. And if you scroll back on the stream, I do uh, show the seed when we first start, if you want to use that. Okay, so we have our emeralds, we have our coal, we have our sticks, we have everything here. And I just need to see what I can do to make this the biggest chance of surviving. And I guess the big thing was, um, because we, oh, torches, that's what it was, yeah. 
Let's so make our torches. Easy strat for making it in hardcore. Dig a three block hole, fill in the top block, make a 24 hour life. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's the perfect, the, the strategy is to, to do this. I'll show. <laughs> this is the perfect strategy. Now, now I'll survive for 24 hours. <laughs> unless you starve to death, I guess. Although that wouldn't happen unless your, um, your hunger was, um, there already, but that's funny. Okay. During tonight, we will sleep. That will uh, not really make the mansion easier a little bit, but not too much. But it'll uh, definitely make this easier. Someone says they like the background music. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I got that all set up earlier. So we should be able to hear basically every Minecraft song. Um, I don't have the title screen ones going, and I don't have the nether ones going, or like the end ones. Um, but we should have most of them go through here. And we've had like 1.18, 1.19, you know, all the different ones. So... Um, this is a good one too. I don't remember which, which this is what I'm hearing right now is um, memory wise, but it's definitely one of the uh, standard survival songs. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Um, once we make these torches, um, it's funny. I'm, I am very used to not playing in hardcore. Just full disclosure, I do not usually play in hardcore, and it was funny because I was like, oh, I, I better put some of this coal away because if I die, that'll just that'll be really hard to get back. And I was like, yeah, it'll definitely be hard to get back because if I die in hardcore, I'm never getting it back. <laughs> oh boy. It's funny, though, you don't really worry about that. I bet you this room's really dangerous. These ones usually are. That's probably not a good reason to go in there. Ooh, look at this. Secret tree. Secret tree. I, I think this one always has, like, an enchanted iron axe. Yes, look at that. I remembered. Enchanted iron axe. Look at that. $10 snooper, uh, snooper chat. Super chat from Snurtle. And they say, congratulations on 100k. I always refer back to your videos for information and tips. So thank you for being such a great informative channel. Well, thank you very much for the super chat. And um, I really appreciate him. Very good way of directly um, supporting the channel. And I also um, I definitely try and make the guides the best I can. Minecraft um, is a simple game, but it's also a game that has a lot of complexity to it. If you really dig deep down into it so i definitely um, am happy to help people and here's one of the pillager farms these are really cool honestly with like the lily pads on top with the um with the uh variety of crops actually i think this one's all wheat but you know in the table here like there's some of the villager um, or the woodland mansion rooms are really cool now i have a sneaking suspicion here Oh, that's insane. I've never seen that happen. That's really interesting. This is a full circle. Because, like, we, we will go on. So this is the right, right? So we're going to go on the left, and we'll go full circle. That doesn't usually happen. I think usually they're kind of separated. Like, you can go in a circle, but usually the pathways don't connect. So if we go this way, and then we go uh, this way, and then we go over here. Um, yeah, we are right here, and this is the <laughs> right side. That's funny. Um, so there were some malaise that I, I saw, and that's pretty good news because that means we can get those as a mob, and uh, I'll probably just have them grab like dirt blocks or something for now just to tame them. Um, this is awesome. The amount of malaise in these are usually massive, so there's two. Um, there are three. Uh, okay, and then this one has uh, four or five, uh, six. That's awesome. Three LA prisons are great, um, and then... This one has one, two. That's a great number of lays. That's awesome. Okay, so those are going to follow me around. I'll, I'll, uh, I guess there's not much of a point of making them stay anywhere. And I love the fact you can't kill these with your sword. This is such a good feature. Because, like, I mean, even just like dogs. I've totally killed dogs by accident before because, you know, they'll go in front of you. Like, you're going to go to lava or something. And, yeah, it's great. Someone says, are you going to arrange your inventory? I don't know. I, mean, I think as long as my hotbar is arranged, it's fairly arranged. But um, I guess I could a little bit. Let's see here. Go like this. Dun -ba -dun -ba -dun. And... That's pretty good. There we go. Okay. Uh, nerf the Vindicators, definitely Iron Axes are too OP. Yeah, the Vindicators are really hard. I'm not sure if I would necessarily be for them being um, made easier, but they definitely are very difficult and a uh, insane the amount of damage they can do. I mean, I I don't know. It's uh, it's very hard to do them, but yeah, they're good though. And I think there's not too much of an issue as long as we have those boats. I mean, without the boats, 100% would die. So let's see here. Um, so we have some more boats. Um, we may as well just keep going through here. Keep uh, spawn proofing it. Keep grabbing the items out of here and yeah and I, I guess i've been kind of focusing on minecraft in the chat here but i mean oh my goodness they got trapped in the boat <laughs> but anyway um 
to just uh, to shift the topic a, a bit a little bit um back to like the 100k thing um it's been an amazing journey up to 100k and i just want to again thank everyone a lot i really really appreciate this basically everyone who's here watching right now it's 100 percent because of you that i'm here um you know you might think you're only one one hundred thousandth of that number but i mean really it's all of you because um every new subscriber i gain youtube will recommend me more every single view i get youtube recommends me same with uh, you know likes and all those things and so you know everything you do helps and and it's if it wasn't for you fans you know i would have I would have stopped a long time ago. I, I think I made about 300 videos before I was monetized in, in November. And then after that, I've made at least another 150, I believe. So it's been a long journey and I appreciate um, the support. And we now have a Vindicator coming after us. So let's see if we can survive this. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm getting... Oh no, there's... Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so I'm just freaking out here because I just realized the alleys are in the boat, so I have to get out here without getting that trapped in the boat. Okay. Um, would would Emerald Sword be good? We can't make an Emerald Sword, but um, if Emeralds were in the game, I mean, I think in real life, Emeralds are a gemstone, right? So you'd assume it'd be a very tough material, probably second only to diamonds, but I think because, you know, Emeralds are so easy to get from villagers, um, it, it sort of makes sense why they... Uh, they aren't um, a armor and tool type. Let's see if we can break these. There you go. Okay, so let's see if we can capture that Vindicator coming after us. Can we just place these on carpet? Yes. So we are good. Buddy, here's some traps for you. Oh, you stupid alleys. Don't you ruin this for me. <laughs> They're going to literally kill me if they get in all these. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> they, they literally went in the entire boat. You're like, really? Really? Oh, well. I dropped an emerald. It's pretty good. Um, I should have these, like, pick up something useful. Let's see. Why are there boats at the entrances? Yeah, I had that there to capture any Vindicators that were coming out, because a bunch were um, near the entrance at first. There's still a couple in here at the bottom floor. I think I saw one just down here. I'm gonna put down a boat for good measure and light this up. Um, this is an... Okay, so this, I think this is a secret room. I think. Because there's just the face. So there might be something on the other side of this? I don't remember. Because this isn't like the 3D one. Uh, no there's not. This just goes into a cave apparently. Which is kind of interesting, but... Oh well. Okay, no, the, it's the uh, the 3D face I think that has the good thing. This is a secret room here. There's a chest at the bottom of this. But this is also often dangerous because these top parts here have mobs, so... Okay, we'll look in that chest in a minute here. I just want to make sure that we are... Uh, pillager proof? Um, or not pillager proof. Uh, pillager proof or vindicator roof um there's a second alley prison that's amazing and there's also a vindicator in there let's see if we can uh capture him there we go and i'm not actually going to rescue those alleys at first just because as it is these ones around have been a little bit of a nuisance getting into the boats uh definitely a useful mob but obviously um at this very moment i'm not very useful all right let's see the grand reveal of what's in the chest it could be an enchanted golden apple it could be uh bones and dirt but we'll see what's in here well, there's a diamond hope, which I mean, best item ever, really. We have 20 bones, we have the music disc cat, we have a piece of bread, and we have three pumpkin seeds. And I will break that so I know that I grabbed it. That's not too bad. I mean, diamond hoe, I think, is my first diamond item. So, you know, that's um, interesting. I think there's a special loot table on those where it's like just diamond hoes that it can give you. It's just kind of funny. Weak loot. Yeah, it's not the best. It, it's funny because, like... I do feel like Woodland Mansion should be slightly updated. I don't think crazy, but I think enough that, like, there's better loot. Um, definitely the alleys gave it a lot uh, more benefit, but, you know, n now they'll be breedable in the next update. Um, I don't think it'll be quite as um, amazing, but still, you know, still a good structure for sure. Okay, I'm probably not going to start raiding this. I'm just going to put a couple... Oh, oh my word! Oh, boy. <laughs> well, that's part of Hardcore. That was an insane amount of Vindicators. I want to see how many that was. I want to see how many that was. That was insane. Oh, yeah, you can see those things I was talking about. The, uh... Where is it? The diamonds. Yeah, there's the two... There's, like, mirrored. I'll, I'll show this in my upcoming seed video, but yeah, there's two of these here. So, there's diamonds inside these, you can see. Yeah, that's any of the over there. Oh, boy. Well, that was another death, and that's okay. There was one, two, three, four, five. That's insane. No, there's six. There's a, so there's at least five after me. That is crazy. It's amazing, eh? Huh. Well, uh, what should we do now? Let's think. 
if you guys want to tell me in the chat something you think I should do after this, I could do a third hardcore world. Um, whatever you want. Um, but yeah. That went pretty well so far, so that's too bad, but you know, that's what it is. Now, if you guys have any ideas what I could do next, I, I could do another hardcore, I could do a survival, I could do, um... I could do... go on my Minecraft server, whatever you want. And take a look around the seat as I wait for your boats to come in. You can see, yeah, it's like this amazing ring of mountains here. And I know we didn't get to see it very well, and I don't know if I can run commands, because I died. No, I can't. Okay. Um, I guess it would make sense. Um, yeah, you can see here that cave I was talking about right here. There's like a massive entrance to it, and uh, yeah, just like, just insane cave if you just look through here. Like, just so good. Like, um, let me get you the seed again. Oh, spelled that horribly wrong. There you go. There's the seed. It's uh, negative three two three five two seven three three eight one six six zero seven nine one five zero one, and um, yeah, you got this amazing, amazing seed here. Lots of lots of lush caves, lots of everything, and um, definitely a very, very good seed. And also, the the other reason why it's great is because if we ever got to that point, um, right underneath the mansion here, uh, when we go underneath it, there's actually a um, like directly underneath the mansion, there is a uh, ancient city right here so you can see that we could have uh raided that but i mean you know is what it is you die in hardcore and you die 2 b 2 t i i don't think i i don't i'd probably take just long enough to get into the queue you go on pp you said ancient city on the seed yeah here's the ancient city um do you make videos full time yes i do make videos full time Make another hardcore world. Well, you know, this is the live stream is called hardcore. <laughs> so I suppose we can make another hardcore world. Um, you know, it is what it is. But um I'm trying to think of a twist. Do a twist on this. Hardcore. Hardcore. And I mean, to be fair, I've seen a lot of um hardcore YouTubers who are like way better at hardcore than I am. They'll like start like so many worlds before they get established. So I think it's fairly part of the course, but um Yes, let's see here. So we are... Everyone's spamming different servers I can join. I could join a server, but again, um, it's not necessarily... Um, exactly what the stream is branded as. Let's do the seed of... We'll do the seed of Icra and see. And we'll see what that gives us. I've never tried that before, so... You can seed Icraft MC capital E. So, Oop, we'll see what we get. Let's see. It's like a bunch of people just left because I died. That's okay. All right. So. Cubic says random seed. I mean, yeah. To be fair, like, I craft MC as a seed is fairly random because I have literally no idea what a killer bit of a resemblance. <laughs> There's not a resemblance at all, but <laughs> there we go. I like sunflowers, actually. They're quite cool. I wish they would, uh, wish they would, um, not only face one direction, although I understand why. All right. I feel like there is, like, the best place to find a village would be on a seed like this. Like, I, I can't think of a better seed to find a village. You know, all these plains, all the flowers, um, definitely a village-centric seed. So, also, if you guys are enjoying the stream, um, make sure to give it a like. If you're not liking the stream, give it a dislike. I want honest feedback, and um, if you do enjoy it, it'll help you to promote it to more people, and we will get even more viewers on the stream, which would be great. So, let's go up to the top of this hill as we enjoy this beautiful Minecraft 1.19 song in the background, which is actually um, very appropriate, because obviously the meadow biome is a uh, 1.19 biome. This is a very cool uh, meadow. Yeah, so definitely a lot of potential for the village. Um, we also have a lot of yellow flowers here, which is interesting. Um, probably shouldn't be running this much. There's our sheep, so I guess that could be our survival chance, but I'll look for another minute for, uh, for a village, because I feel like there's likely one around here. Um, there is a lava lake. That would be an easy way of quickly ending this, <laughs> but I probably will not do that. Um, okay, got a flower forest. I do not see a village, surprisingly, so I guess we'll be going after those sheep. Um, we have, they're all different colors, so I can't really get enough for a bed, I don't think. Um, actually, well, hmm. Oh, there's a very big gorge there. There's iron there, actually. I could get some shears. Hmm. Well, let's see if there's a... There's not a lot of trees in the meadow, so let's go outside the meadow a bit. Got a, got a couple trees. Uh, Dan Sadowski says, Can't hang, but just wanted to say your videos are awesome, straight to the point, and always useful. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really enjoy um, making videos that are um, 
really focused on not just, you know, filling it up with useless information, um, but, but like the most appropriate and uh, useful things I can, because I want not, I do not want to waste people's time. I want to just provide them with the best content possible. So, all right. And Ruin por portal speedrun seed. I craft them seed. We can check out the ruin portal. Um, they might be an enchanted golden apple. It, maybe it is a speedrun seed. We could take a look. I had actually found a while ago. I should look for it again. But I I found a speedrun seed. It was um so good. It was like enchanted golden apple, like ten second walk from spawn. And you also had a ruin portal that was like maybe twenty seconds. So probably not like the perfect speedrunning seed, but it was fairly good. Ah, uh, we have the obsidian in the portal, or we have the crying obsidian there. We won't be able to speed run it, but we can still see what's in here. Let's see. We have two obsidian, which is a nice way to get a quick advancement. We have a uh, chest plate. That'll give us that. And we have something I cannot mine, but I really wish I could. Um, we've been netherrack. If we want to use that, I guess I'll grab a piece for, to commemorate this. Wait, I can't. I need a, a pickaxe. So we'll make our basic tools yet again and see what we can do on this world. Maybe this will be the lucky one and maybe it will not. And we'll do this. Let's see here. Dum -dum -dum. Okay, so people are people saying this time you beat the Ender Dragon. All right, well I'll try. I'll try. I'll see what I can do. Um, <laughs> it'll be the uh, the two minute um, random seed <laughs> speed run. <laughs> oh boy, I wish. I wish I had those kind of speed running skills. I really um people who can do that is just amazing amount of skill. I mean, I I guess I could if I really like, I don't know, just studied it for years. But I mean. I don't know, I'm more focused on just survival and enjoying that, and obviously, you know, hardcore isn't necessarily something you'd want to be doing crazy builds on, just for the sake of it being a risk, but, um, yeah. Let's see here. Icraft, do you think you can beat the Ender Dragon in less than an hour? Um, probably. I mean, it depends on the seed, right? Like, I think, um, the strategy, I, I don't usually go for crazy strategies, um, and I don't usually speed run that, like, really. Um, but I can, I just, I, I'm not good at it. So, you know, it's not like something I make a video out of, but, um, you know, I, I ideally like just, if you're going to like the kind of traditional method of just winning the game, you know, you just want to, um, you would just want to like, you know, find a quick obsidian, um, quick nether fortress, quick warped forest, get the ender pearls, get the, you know, blaze powder. And then, you know, if you can do that, then yeah, you could probably defeat the ender dragon quickly. I mean, as long as you have like any projectile, which you could get in the snow biome, you could get really wherever, um, then you're fairly good in terms of like beating the Ender Dragon. Um, you don't need much to kill it. Like it's funny because actually killing it isn't probably the hard part. Like it can be, but I would say just getting there in time is what would make speedrunning the hardest. You know, because um, I mean, I can I I have beat the Ender Dragon before with stone tools. It's not um, ideal, but you can. And um, just because like once the once the towers are destroyed. Um, as long as you like dodge the ender dragon, um, you can kill it. It just, of course, would take longer, so you wouldn't be speedrunning at that point. So, someone says, "Oh, I'm starving to death. I should get some food." Uh, but someone says, um, "I'm 28 and just started playing Minecraft for the first time, and your redstone vids help me have a ton of fun in my friend's server." Well, I'm really glad to help with that. Um, redstone's a really fun part of the game. Someone was asking me earlier if I enjoy doing redstone, and um, I definitely do. It's something I want to learn more about too myself. It's uh, not an easy topic to master, and um, it's something that I totally want to do more videos on. Um, you know, maybe something like the uh, the micro farms videos, so for sure. And let's get this, and we need some fuel, so let's get down a tree. Actually, there's some coal there. That's incredibly convenient. So we will mine this coal, and we will use that. What do you do with enchanted golden items from chests? Uh, you can disenchant them. Um, that can be a good way of, of using them. Um, you can uh, use them for like a display piece. And yeah, uh, Andy may bump bump kiss or bump kiss says your videos came into my life at just the right time. Thank you for your thoughtful instructions. And P.S. I'm fond of the way you say the way you bucket. <laughs> oh boy. Well, thank you very much for the um, super chat of $10. And I appreciate that a lot. And I, I definitely appreciate super chats and I appreciate um, all my fans um, because they really um, mean a lot to me that I can put all this effort into my videos and that you guys appreciate the effort because there's, there's nothing worse than putting a lot of time into a video and having no one watch it. 
Let's see, someone says, uh, do you plan on doing bedrock tutorials? Um, probably not specifically bedrock. Like I would say, I definitely do want to um, expand more onto verifying information for Bedrock more accurately. You know, so for instance, uh, more tests in Bedrock, more um, footage of Bedrock, you know, things like that. Um, but yeah, I don't think you'd see like a dedicated Bedrock tutorial unless there's maybe like a really, really um, important aspect I could cover. Like maybe, you know, how to join servers on Bedrock or something. Like maybe something where like every Bedrock player could use it. But I think like in general, probably... Probably not, so, yeah. Uh, someone says, uh, One thing you gotta hate about the nether, you open a chest, even if it's your own chest with your own items. Piglins hogging your stuff. Hogging your stuff, that's hilarious. Like, excuse me, you don't... Uh, it's not even yours. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's actually funny, because when they added the... Um, the chest boats, the chest boats um, also annoy piglins so it's like you can have like your chest boat which they're never gonna see naturally like ever and you can open it up and they'll just get so mad so yeah it's definitely funny um i now hoppers don't bug them so you can use hoppers if you put a hopper beneath a chest of theirs or a chest of yours for that reason you can use that to um grab items out of chests that's a really great tip um I also think that dispensers and droppers they don't get mad at i would have to take more um effort to look into that um but yeah and also, um, moderators, if you want to just link my Twitch and Twitter, they're in the description there on the chat. That would be great. Um, okay, so we have a flower forest here. We have tall flowers galore, and I love tall flowers. I love, I love all the flowers in Minecraft. I wish there was more flowers they would add. Um, it's supposed to be in 1.19, but, you know, maybe we'll see them in 1.20, 1.21. Uh, if it was like a little bug fix update, like I said, that would definitely be um, good. And, uh, yeah. Um, let's see here. One thing that annoys me is that there isn't a crimson or warped boat, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that, that is actually a good point. Um, sort of like how there isn't, um, like I know people wanted like an obsidian boat for, for like a lava thing. Um, probably the reason why there isn't one is because, um, if they added it, I think they would basically have to make it be lava proof just because uh, it wouldn't make sense if it wasn't because crimson wood itself is lava proof. And so, um, I believe Mojang's idea was, um, Although everyone wanted like an obsidian boat, a lava proof boat, um, they thought that using the strider would be a better idea, having like a mob that you would use. And, you know, I'm not sure, but um, what I do know is that um, that was kind of the idea. So if they added like a lava boat, it would just render the striders completely useless. And I think they wanted to kind of focus on adding some more um, life to the to the uh, world. And I also just realized here, I do not have a bed and I only have two pieces of wool. <laughs> so this is a not a good start. Um, I better uh, quickly <laughs> find a sheep. And uh, there probably are some really close, so we're probably pretty good. Yes, there's one right there. That could be the uh, sheep that saves our lives. Uh, someone says, really like your vids. I get excited when you upload. I'm really happy now that you created a chance to talk to you. Thanks, iCraft. Well, I really appreciate um, you enjoying my videos, and I'm glad to provide you that chance to talk to me. Um, I will try and respond to as many of these messages as possible. And feel free, by the way, um, if you guys want to go spam me with about 200 messages on the chat there about like different questions and stuff, I don't mind. I, I obviously can't answer them all just because of time constraints. But if you want to like just ask a whole bunch of questions, ask away, and I can 100% uh, um, respond to as many as possible. <laughs> Jacob True says, um, my, I am 62 years old and my le uh, real legal name is I, or is Mick Icrafts, which is where his channel name came from. Uh, that was fake news. Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> oh boy. So I have, I have revealed I'm not 62. That's funny. Okay, so we have now slept, we have now survived the night. Um, how long does it take on average to make a guide video, Parka asks. Um, hmm, well I did answer this somewhat earlier, although a guide video is a bit different than just any video of mine, and I would say the guide videos have more time in them, so I would say probably 20 to 20 to 40 hours. Um, it can be way less, it can be way more, um, but I would say as an average it's probably about double as much as like a standard video. Um, uh, okay. Do you like playing Minecraft? Yes, I do like playing Minecraft. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely my favorite game, and I hope it'll always be my favorite game. And um, in my opinion, I think that although often when there's a new update, I'll sort of uh, 
dislike some of the stuff in it. Like for instance, you know, uh, when they did the updated textures, that kind of bugged me. But, um, you know, uh, I would say as a whole, like I really do enjoy the updates. And I think that the new features to the game itself are great. I think that, you know, uh, new biomes, new mobs, things like that. Those are things I can always support no matter what, because I think the, the developers put a lot of time into making sure that every feature is, is um, balanced for every player. So... Do you like bread? And if so, what kind is your favorite? I do like bread. I I think most people like bread. I'm not sure. But yeah, no, I do like bread. Um, favorite bread? Hmm, that's a good question. There's some really good breads out there. I think like Bocasia bread's really good. Um, croissants are good. Baguettes are good. Some of those. I don't know. So probably those are some of mine. Let's see here. What do you hate the most about Minecraft? Hmm, I don't think I hate anything about Minecraft. Um, I think that there's things that can be very annoying in the game. Um, like for instance, dying in the hardcore worlds, which we have experienced uh, twice on the stream now. Maybe it's three times. I think it was twice, but yeah, that's annoying. Um, but obviously, I think it's important that it's in the game, or hardcore wouldn't be a, a viable. Um, you know, it wouldn't be hardcore. It would just be survival. So, yeah, I mean, in terms of like overall. Um, features, I would say that um, there are a couple ways that the biomes will generate in 1.18 that I think doesn't make sense. So for instance, the um, the taiga, there's like the, the taiga biome can generate in the middle of the snowy biomes. And so like if you have like a massive group of, of snowy biomes, so let's say you have a ice plains, let's say you have an ice spikes, so let's say, you know, a, um, a cold taiga, right? You got like some snow on there. Um, and then right in the middle of that, you just have this taiga that doesn't have any snow on it. I think that kind of ruins the atmosphere. So like little tweaks like that, but um, nothing big. What update are you most hoping for next? Personally, I want them to just add all the loser biome and mob votes. Yeah, I think that could be interesting. Um, I would be interested in seeing a bit more like, a little bit more info on like what we'd be even seeing if i was mojang i would not be doing a, a nether vote like like um this mine con if it's going to be in person or, or uh on live stream which uh did, i don't actually know yet but um hopefully it's in person but um yeah and anyway you know i, I don't think it'd be a good idea to do another vote just because there's already so much stuff in the works that they haven't done i mean i remember seeing this one thing on reddit a little while ago where they showed every single thing that um had not been added to minecraft but that was promised um, like recently, of course, no, not like way back in the day, but, um, and it was a very big list. And I remember seeing like, they, they said that you could probably formulate like three or four updates out of it. So I think doing those would be good. Um, combining it with like some bug fixes would be good. Um, but obviously an end update too, I think is what the whole community is kind of generally feeling it's going to be, but I mean, who knows what this rate really. Do you think they'll improve the savannah biomes with new mobs or anything to make it more unique? I mean, that's what's planned, right? So we'll see if the plans come to uh come to happen but if they don't then uh, i guess not but yeah if you actually if you look up a uh, minecraft savannah biome vote you can see the features that they have planned for that if you're interested all right we found a village that's awesome um on the seed icraft mc at the coordinates of 40 and 650 and hopefully there's a blacksmith although there probably is not <laughs> i've mean, actually found blacksmiths are not that common in villages i feel like before the village and pillage they were a lot more common but now it's like Pretty rare, honestly. Like, I would say probably one in four or five villages have a have a blacksmith. It depends, of course, but, you know. At least on the plains ones. Yeah, no blacksmith. Nice biomes, and that's a beautiful, um, beautiful, uh, extreme hills. And it's kind of nice, actually. Some of this terrain looks a little bit old style, so that's cool. Let's see here. Um... What tools do you use to edit your videos? Well, I use Premiere Pro. Um, I use the whole Adobe suite of, of things. Um, I don't usually use uh, much more than Premiere Pro though. Um, to make the thumbnails, I use this thing called um, GIMP. It's it's basically like the uh, the Premiere uh, the the Adobe Photoshop. So I do that. There's a pea jumping pushing into me. Let's see if I can. I'll give it a flower. There we go. Um, here's a cave. Okay, here's awesome. So this is good. Uh there's any iron probably not it's, i don't know I'm, I'm still too used to like the old um ore layout i mean i'm the person who's made two very successful videos on the new places to find ores and yet still i'm like oh let's go down low to get iron it's like nope you want to go high <laughs> i mean you can go low but like very low so not you know just a little bit 
that is a beautiful cave entrance with like the um with like the stalactites and stalagmites there in the dripstone that looks like a big mouth or something that's really cool it's beautiful it's also very dangerous so we're not going to go down there <laughs> we might go down there later let's see here uh i've been asked uh we ever do a let's play or hardcore um i did answer this earlier in the stream um but the answer to that is i'm not sure like that's the actual answer is that um if it doesn't i don't know how well it'll go at this point i suspect that my tutorials would continue to do better than a let's play but if in the future it seems to me that a let's play would be a good option i, I definitely want to make one it's, it's a goal so i would say you know if you're subscribed to me for for long term i think that you'll definitely see one i just i don't know if it'll be you know this month next month or, or for further in the future or whenever right so that what i'd say on that and I, i'm not sure if i do hardcore or not either because hardcore is great it obviously adds a lot of suspense but there's also the point to it where it's um it, it does kind of um make it losing work be a lot easier right which i think is i don't know i mean i understand the reason why people do it i just think that it's um it could be frustrating if i spent you know maybe a couple hundred hours in something right so okay let's see um, I heard that the Wither got nerfed for Bedrock players, which is good. Balance changed now that the Wither is almost like the Java version. I didn't hear about that. That's interesting. Um, I've heard the Bed Bedrock Wither is completely insanely hard. Um, I haven't played Bedrock much at all, um, just to be honest. Um, but what I, uh, know of is that it is very, very difficult. So, um, that would be interesting if they made it easier. Probably a good change, but I mean, not necessarily. It depends on if people want an easy game or a hard game. <laughs> see how do you keep the creativity going for building structures once you're post game i feel like i don't know what else to do um i've had that issue myself too um i do have a video i just posted about things to do if you're bored um but obviously you know if you don't necessarily are interested in those things um that wouldn't be a good solution so you know i would say in general um remember that basically anything you can do in real life in terms of you know building things creating things you can probably do it in minecraft and so if you think about like different things you like in real life let's say you know oh well i really enjoy you know i don't know like um vending machines like i was saying earlier i, I was designing vending machines and you could maybe look into designing vending machines and adding them to next to your base or something right and if you're on uh, multiplayer of course there's a lot more to to do but i you know, it depends. I am to leave this village. There's not much here, and I think exploring around the terrain would be uh, more fun. Let's see. You can kill the golem for iron. Yes, that's a great idea. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever watched them, but there's like these hilarious compilations online where they're like, um, there's another village there. That's amazing. Yeah, they're like, uh, they're like, oh, um, press Q with your pickaxe over lava, and like they throw it in the lava, and you're just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if that's real or if they're just like doing it to make the stream more viral. It's hard to say, but you won't see me throwing my pickaxes in lava. Although, as a funny story, actually, one time a long time ago, um, uh, actually in that world that I was um, showcasing in my 20 things, if you're bored, um, I by accidentally threw a pair of elytra into lava, and I was just so so mad it was like my first pair of elytra and i had it for like so long and we just like no it's after like a year of having it or something insane so you know mistakes with lava definitely happen you are the best minecraft youtuber love from pakistan well thank you so much and i really appreciate um my viewers from all the countries in the world and i think that it's so awesome that i have uh, such an international audience and we also have this village that we can live at. So let's get ourselves uh, a place to stay. Um, I, again, I'm not sure if I'll stay here or not. Um, obviously, the last time we were at the village on the, the first hardcore thing we were on, um, I did end up uh, dying. And um, it wasn't because of the village, but it was, um, you know, we built this house. And of course, it eventually um, went away. <laughs> Someone saying they love my voice. Well, thank you very much. It seems like a lot of my viewers enjoy that, which is um, good. And you were trying to steal my bed, Mr. Villager. I do not appreciate that. All right, let's uh, off offload some of this stuff that's not useful. Um, these flowers are nice, so we won't get rid of them. Ah, uh, I guess it's okay for now. Okay, um, let's mine this. You know, it's funny, like my my the exact situation where I'm in right now, which is of course having all these items, is um, 
exactly what they were trying to do with the bundles, right? It's like you have, you know, three of this, four of this, five of that, whatever, and with the bundles there, you can put them all in there. And I don't know if they officially cancel bundles or if they just keep putting them off. That would be really interesting to know because um, I think those were announced in Minecon 2020. They might not have been, but I think they were. So that would be interesting to, to look into that one. All right, let's mine the rest of this. And we now have the Minecraft credit song playing, which is cool. So, let me make something in here. See, I always forget which villager houses have what. I was thinking I might do a video sometime of like a villager, like not a villager guide, but a village guide. So like what buildings have what treasure, um, you know, places to loot, um, you know, maybe what uh, villager biome has the best quality houses. I think that would be a really cool video. Let's see. I heard they can't get bundles working on mobile, so that's why it's delayed. I'm not sure why they couldn't, but that is interesting. I'm, I'm, I don't know. It'd be interesting to, to know, um, like, the official reason. Um, like, if they have, like, some kind of statement about that. But Mojang hasn't been incredibly transparent about the updates. Um, I don't know if they ever really were, but, you know. Let's see here. We have a very flat area. It's interesting, I had a lot of comments back when 1.18 um, first came out about how um, they could never find flat areas. And just to talk about 1.18 and, you know, by extension 1.19 generation a little bit here, which personally I'm a very big fan of, I think it's improved the game a lot. You know, um, I think what's interesting is that there's more possibility for extremes not a lot in between so for instance this is incredibly flat like this is crazily flat terrain i mean what we're seeing here is is like a true plains biome something you would never even see something this flat like something like let's say right here you know i don't think you'd ever see that in before 1.18 uh, and then of course also you have these crazy mountains and so you know i think overall um I think one of the reasons why 1.18 takes so long is just because of the uh, very, very important fine tweaking needed to get the biome layout correct. And I think that, um, I think they did a good job on it. Uh, like, like I was saying earlier, I didn't really enjoy the um, the one change with the taiga, but you know, in general, um, I think that it's it's really good. And we're going to kill that chicken. Let's see. Are you wearing diamond armor right now? No, I'm not. I'm wearing a singular golden chest plate. Um, I'm basically just on the scout out for somewhere interesting to build a base, um, which I probably should have gone to that village. It's actually funny. It looks like the whole top of that mountain was just like chopped right off. <laughs> it's hilarious. It just like stops really abruptly. Okay, it looks like almost like a cave entrance there. But I mean, this is a massive plains biome. If I know plains biomes, though, I'm sure there's a village within the next two minutes and oh my goodness there's a village right there that is insane timing like you would think that was set up that's hilarious let's see good only wear gold armor or anything else armor but diamond it can kill you you have to drink milk okay <laughs> oh boy um someone says about your dungeon spawner farm uh would a magma block instead of a fire uh burn drops what if i drowned I want drown drops um yeah so a magma block works you have to have a a hopper minecart inside the magma block which is a little bit of a finagling to get that to happen it's not too hard but you have to um put down the hopper minecart break the rail then push the magma block onto where the hopper minecart is but yeah if you do that um you could totally use a magma block it's uh definitely the solution that i would have um, opted in for before the campfires were added um so no definitely definitely you could do that and about getting drown drops, you can add like a section of it where you, um, they sort of like, um, they would sort of sit there for a while and then eventually they would, um, they would like drown. And so like you go through a little like, uh, 20 second loop or something. I'm running very low on inventory space. I think this is a pretty nice village. I think we may as well settle here. Oh goodness. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, well. All right. That's pretty good. And, uh, yeah, let's just grab a house. I mean, these are pretty nice houses and, um, there is one, this double wide one here. I could grab that one. That's a good one. I thought it should be a, uh, does that have the brewing stand? No, it doesn't. That was awesome. Yeah, we'll pick this. Actually, it's funny. Look how like perfectly these are laid out. It's like five apples like this. And that's like funny. It looks like it was planned. Weird. You can go on the seed yourself. Take a look. It wasn't, but that's funny. A little bit um, not random enough. Let's see here. Um... Uh, just settle in a village. Yeah, I'll probably just do that. Let's see here. Okay, we got that full. Let's get ourselves the 
uh, second chest, which we have in our inventory, and we'll put things in there. And uh, let's get a furnace up. Let's just make this into a bit of a base. We'll clear out the, uh, the villager things, <laughs> which they probably will not appreciate, but that's okay. All right, so let's grab the axe. Um, actually, we don't have an axe, so we'll get down a little crafting station. And we'll grab some, uh, I was gonna say grab some stone. We're literally so poor we don't even have any stone on us, so, um, not ideal. Actually, this kind of cool little cove here, we could mine that out, get some stone there. Let's see here. Um... Is this a casual run or a long-term project? Um, I guess it depends on if I survive or not, right? Um, if I survive, then maybe it'll be long-term, hard to say. Uh, but obviously it'd be casual if I die, <laughs> because it'd be done. So, um, yeah. A nice thing about villages is you get, like, the infinite food. Well, not infinite food, but you get, like, the um, that initial uh, big bonus, right? Which I think is uh, definitely worthwhile. It's a pretty good seed, too. Like, lots of villages near spawn. I think this is the, the third one we went to, and that's actually pretty good loot in there. I mean, well, good loot for a village, to be fair. Um, out of 10, how much do you like Minecraft? I would say I like Minecraft 100,000 out of 10. Um, all right. So, we will mine away this. And we will finally make our stone axe, because we're just so upgraded in this hardcore world. Um, oh boy. I don't know, I mean, it's it's, it's a weird thing. It's like, you, you don't risk a lot, you, you don't get a lot. And so I think that's more or less applies to Minecraft too, you know, if you don't put a lot of effort and time into, into getting good materials. Um, you're not going to die, but you're also not going to have good materials. So, you know, um, but again, going slow and hardcore is sort of, sort of more ideal. It depends, really. Um, what has the best chest loot, in your opinion, ancient cities or treasure bastions? Ah, it's probably ancient cities. Uh, I have seen ancient city loot chests with, I think, four golden apples in them, which is insane. I mean, that's obviously so many golden apples. And, um, you know, compared to, like, really anything else I can imagine... Um, that's just really good. Apparently there's a glitch, actually. I just realized it says respawn point set. Actually, no, it's not a glitch, because when you leave the end, that's what it is, if you leave the end. Yeah, because so I was saying, like, if you right-click on this, you know, it says, um, spawn point set, and obviously you don't, um, you can't respawn in, in a hardcore, but if you're in the end and you get out of the end, then you could respawn, so. All right, so let's get ourselves a little bit of a kitchen or something, I suppose. We'll put that down there. We'll get a little, um, something with this. Make, like, a little, uh stove thing that looks pretty good we'll put that in the middle actually and then i don't it's like the, the worst first base ever but i mean you know it's something um have you heard of roblox yes i have i used to play roblox a lot actually um believe it or not and let's get a chest over there as well to get the food items in and yeah, we're still at almost three hours in. We are still at 363 concurrent viewers, which I really appreciate. All right, so we have raw chicken that needs to be cooked. We have coal to cook it, so let's do that. It's funny how like um, certain raw meats in the game don't give you any sickness, but raw chicken does. Because it's like, I mean, I understand obviously in real life, you know, eating anything raw is obviously going to make you, well, it could make you sick, you know. But it's like, I think you can eat like raw pork chops without any issue, which is... A little bit odd. Okay, we got some more hay bales here. Got some more things to look at. Um, I think this is a... It is, I would say... Uh, what is the word for it? It is a leather workers. That's what it is. We can grab these for our kitchen. And we can also grab things out of here. Hey, look at that. Free boots. We don't have any boots. So now we are uh, much more armored. We'll keep that um, one workstation for the leather worker. Let's see here. Because chicken is more prone to salmonella. Yeah, I think that is the case. Um, it just is funny because you think it'd just be like a higher chance, not just like, oh, there's no danger of eating anything raw but chicken. <laughs> I don't know. I guess like rotten flesh, obviously it makes you sick too. <laughs> but it's like, it doesn't make you sick. It just makes you hungry. So that's a funny one. All right, we'll get a cauldron. Kind of useless, but you know, it looks cool. So, um, And we'll make a little table, I think, because, you know, it's supposed to be a little house. So little well, table is nice. We can always make something else later, but I think for now... A little table will be nice, and this stupid villager thinks it's its house, which it's not, so let's uh, get a trap door, and we'll put it on top of there. And again, thank you very much for all the congratulations on uh, 100k. Um, obviously, this is a very, um, uh, shall we say, chill live stream. I'm not trying to competitively 
go quick, I am a little bit better <laughs> than this. I'm not, you know, it's not like I'm doing badly. I'm just, you know, I'm not um, trying to speed run this. So, you know, uh, of course, because it's hardcore as well. These villagers are not, oh my goodness. What in the world? <laughs> it literally went into the block. That's funny. Anyway, I hate to end it here, but this is the end of the stream. My music track has finished and... And the viewers are waning. And so as you all leave, make sure to uh, like the stream before you leave. Make sure to join my Twitter, join my uh, Discord, um, follow me on Twitch, and watch a different video. I posted a um, Woodland Mansion video today, um, which I think is great. So make sure to check that one out. That'll be the newest video if you sort by newest. And I really appreciate all this. I really appreciate all of you. I appreciate getting to 100k. Um, the absolute um, amazing opportunity this can be as not um cannot be um stated how happy and, and how thankful i am for for this opportunity so um just thank you so much and uh yeah i will talk to you later um and uh thank you also to all the super chatters um thank you for all the um just the messages in general the amount of um nice messages here i can't uh, explain how much those mean to me so i will definitely be reading through those a lot and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day um, I'll see you in the next guide video, and thank you for tuning in to the first live stream by iCraftMC.